How dare you? How dare you humiliate me the way you just did a while ago? All right, so you humiliated me so you can come back here and busy yourself with this goddamn shit? What do you take me for? A stone or a piece of wood? You have no fucking remorse for the way you just humiliated me. Me, Eve of all people. You treat me like a piece of shit? I'm talking to you. I'm fucking talking to you. When I talk to you, you look at me and respond. Who do you think you are? You know me. I am Eve Tamuna Edwards. That name rings a bell. I am no piece of shit and you most certainly are not deaf. It. I swear I will spend a billion naira on lawyers and judges ensuring that you spend your entire years in a fucking jail. And you know that would not leave a dent on my family wealth. So put your piece of shit, tap a hand down right now, boy. Yeah, I thought so. Now calm down, baby boy. Calm down. You know I love you. What do you think you're going to? You try to walk out on me? You cannot walk out on me. No man walks out on Eve Tamona Edwards. Not even the one I love like you. Now calm down. Because you will take me to your mommy and your dada and your sister and apologize to me in front of them and then you beloved will take this from my hand because it's from my heart because i love you so here you go come on Come on, you know you want to. Good boy. All right, baby. Now, shall we go have a party? of this compound, you mannerless lout. I swear to God, if you come close to me, I will give you the deadliest slap ever recorded in history. Oscar! Don't come close, Dad. This fool, this fool of a stamp our boundaries today. Are you mad? If you step forward, you will see the devil in me in full display. Get out! You, it's not over. Hey. It's not final. Ah. Oh, my good God. What happened, Eve? What happened? Oscar happened. You will not believe how Oscar insulted and humiliated me today. And then he, he, he threw me out like, like, damn! 
you weren't pushing hard on him again during the birthday celebration. And both of you had a fight again. Oh, please, the birthday thing didn't even happen again. The proud Ingrid ruined it all. He messed up everything. And he insulted me in front of his father, his mother, and sister. I feel like I'm going crazy. <sighs> Calm down, girl. <sighs> Babe, calm down. <sighs> if you will listen to me, Eve, it is time you forget about this Oscar of a Know what I want in a man. And Oscar is who I want as my man. And what does he want in a woman? Do you have any of it? Have you ever asked yourself those questions? Come on, Eve. Damn what he wants in a woman. Who has it and who does not have it? Come on, girl. Are you forgetting who we're talking about? Oscar's father is a highly respected retired permanent secretary from the Federal Civil Service. And Oscar, his son, is a first class graduate of pharmacy and pharmacology from an American Ivy League university. You know that. And let me remind you that you are not a nobody. Are you? No, oh, ma'am. Eve, you are the only child of a business muggle, the richest industrialist in the States before his death. That's who you are, girl. Have you forgotten? Listen. Wealth and class shouldn't be part of what attracts someone like you to a man. The contents of his character and the depths of his feelings and respect for you and your own feelings. Shoot, girlfriend. Come on. I mean, there are countless guys out there who will swim the widest ocean and climb the tallest mountain just to get to you and make you theirs. And some of these guys have made and are still making advances on you. So tell me, what is it about this Oscar dude? What? <laughs> Girl, these countless guys, I don't want them. They are nothing but overfed, over pampered, over entitled buffoons. Not good enough for me. Do you know how many top pharmaceutical companies from all over the world lining up for Oscar? Do you know how many of them are offering him job packages that are huge enough to drive even an Arabian princess crazy? That dude oh. is an asset. He's an asset. Oh, please. Sounds to me like it's not about the love thing anymore. Girl, it's about everything. I need me a guy whose future viability does not necessarily depend on his family's possessions or mine. I need me a guy that can command so much respect from me, enough to keep me interested in the relationship for at least a week. Oscar meets the yardstick. These other guys from my past have turned out to be cursed ass slickers that disgusted me so bloody much. But not Oscar. He is as stubborn and as manly as they come. Oscar is so handsome that sometimes Looking at him, oof, <laughs> it gets me an orgasm. Mm. <laughs> what? I'm not crazy, don't look at me like that. <laughs> I want Oscar, by all means. So tell me what to do. Give me an advice, uh, an opinion, a strategy, a plan, anything you got. I want him oh, sweet. to love me. Come on. What you got? Give me anything. What you need now. It's a cheap pill, baby. That's what you need. But me, why? I need to think. No, hold on. I'm thinking. Don't distract me. 
Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking. What am I supposed to do? I'm still thinking. Three shots. That was too harsh. That was way too harsh. But I don't need a car. Eve is not the kind of woman I want in my life. Not now, not ever. All she thinks about is sex, marriage, exotic things, and trips. She treats other people, especially the poor, with so much contempt that irritates me. She is so self-centered and doesn't give a hoot about how I feel. Even my research that she knows how much is important to me. She doesn't even pretend to care one bit. How long am I supposed to pretend just to be tagged a gentleman? Oh, please. No, I... I know, you see. Um, putting up with uh, Eve's arrogance could be difficult at times. I understand you perfectly well, okay? But then, we all have our character flaws. Come on. Patience and tolerance are vital keys to every relationship success, bro. Exactly. I think you overdid it, Oscar. You could have accepted the gift and maybe sell it and use the money for your research. My research is well funded by my parents. Even if I need more funds, I know where to get it. It's certainly not Eve or anyone related to her. Eve is that kind of woman that will wake up one morning and ask for her car to be returned. Or even a gift. No, I don't need her car. I don't. But she loves you. Who cares about love? I only imagine her embarrassment today. But I might not go. Yeah, it's good to. It's good to go for. Sorry, who's who's playing? My shot or yours? Two shots. You know what? I'm, I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. I just I just need to go. Oh, I'm tired of this whole thing. Allow me to win you. Please. Uh, you, you won. You won. Waiter! <laughs> Sir! My bill. Um, sorry, sir. Your bill has been taken care of. Hmm? How? Your bill. It has been taken care of. By who? By her. No, that is unacceptable. Picking my bills without my consent is an insult. I'm sorry. Did I ask you to pay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My actions in my room earlier was silly and unjustifiable. I shouldn't have gone that far, knowing how much your research means to you. As a man, you deserve unconditional love and respect from your woman. I failed in that regard. And for that, I'm sorry. On bended knees, I I'm very sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Please. Come on. Please, I'm sorry. It's here. Can you be a gentleman? This is a public place.
Oh, uh, Eve, Eve, I'm I'm going home and I'm going alone. But you'll drop me, won't you? Hey, uh, I'm a researcher and not some taxi driver. Go with your car. I did not come with my car. I came in a taxi. Please drop me. I'll just meet up in there. Yes. Why did you park opposite my compound? Let's go in. Get down, please. I've got new ideas on my head that I need to offload in my research book. So I need to go. But... Eve, you apologized and begged to be given a second chance to prove to me that we can coexist as lovers without giving me the stress and, and distracting me in my research. And I agreed on that basis. Has anything changed? No, but how can I... Listen, listen. I'm on the verge of making a big breakthrough in my research and finding a permanent cure to asthma and bronchitis. If you will please stay away from me for some time to wrap this whole thing off and then we can talk about our relationship. I will appreciate it. Stay away from you? Yeah. For how long? Say, maybe one month. We'll be okay. And after that, we take our relationship a notch further by starting the preparations for our wedding? Never discussed marriage with you, Eve. Well, everything is possible if, if, if we can, you know, agree on my request. Do you? A traditional marriage invite for Jim and Zion. And it's happening this weekend. You'll be attending, won't you? Jim is my best friend. I've told you that before. Hmm. I want us to attend. I want us to attend dressed like an African couple. What do you say? Eve, Eve, please, don't, don't. Baby, relationship, friendship, love, it's about give and take. You requested for a month. I have given you a month. But you have to indulge me by granting me this one request. And I'll be okay. What say you, my love? What are you up to this time? What am I up to? What do you mean? I'm just a girl in love. And hey, don't you argue this. All right. 
I'll take care of our uniform design and the bills. Take it, take it, take it. Ah, ah. Man, you killed it, baby. I know. <laughs> and the traditional wedding attendants. Dressed like a couple thing. It's a killer punch. I know. <gasps> and now, how did it go in his parents, um, the sister's end, before you went to meet him at the restaurant? Oof. It went perfectly as we planned it. Oh my word. <laughs> Before I went there, my mom already called his parents mm -hmm. from her holiday resort in America. Wow. That made things way easier. Are you serious? Yeah, but nonetheless, it didn't stop me from giving them a little bit of my dramatic um, okay, stunts. Okay, okay. I cried. I was on bended knees. <laughs> and I kept crying. Oh, I refused to stop crying. I cried so damn much, even his mother joined me to cry in sympathy. Wow. <laughs> it got to a point. His father couldn't take it no more. He swore to put an end to the entire nonsense and oh. get him married without further delay. Just to who? To the one and the only. Eve, mm. Tamano, Edward. Oh my goodness. You'll take it again, baby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Girl, his sister was the easiest to handle. I made the idle bitch two millionaire richer. Little oh, man. With a promise of a Dubai shopping spree next month. <laughs> Ooh, she was blown away. <laughs> I understand that. Instantaneously, she divulged Oscar's whereabouts to me and swore to become my best soldier against any lady that dares come near Oscar. Check that out. Baby, you're too much. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Money's not much. bullshit, eh? <laughs> wow. Yep. You were going to stay away from him mm -hmm. for one month. Well. But your name. And the talk of you will never get off his ears How? and head. How? Courtesy of his own parents. Girl, isn't that the whole idea? You're so bad. That's exactly why I agreed to his crazy, crazy idea. <sighs> He's going to be so busy, you know, engrossed with his research. <laughs> and moi, <laughs> I want to be in his head <laughs> and his mind. <laughs> I'm going to possess him mentally, emotionally, every courtesy of his own family. Let me then see how he will carry them and throw them away. In fact, let <laughs> me see how he will not end up marrying me sooner or later. No how. No way. Mm -hmm. Not when, in our own best knowledge, no, no. he has no other lady in his life. No other lady? He wouldn't dare. What other lady, girl? <laughs> Listen, girl, any lady that dares come close to my man mm -hmm. will join her ancestors That's with the my speed girl of sound. Care. You kidding me? Girl, as far as those guys concerned, I am a territorial python. Yeah, I bite. <laughs> 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 I will swallow even an unborn baby girl if she dare come near my boo boo. That's mm -hmm. my oh, girl. Well. That's my girl. Mm, That's girl. my honey pie. My <laughs> honey pie. Talking about honey. You know I am mm. dying for a hot lick down there. And you know that I love you and I miss you so much because you just impressed me. Anna. That's my bad girl. That's my bad girl. <laughs> hey, mama. <laughs> you are so cute. So, I invited you here. Because of what happened earlier today, I will start by saying that 
the way and manner you rejected Eve was wrong. A woman's feelings should not be hurt in that manner, no matter how evasive or unwelcome she might appear. It is an affair of the heart and the delicate nature of a woman's heart demands that we should treat her with utmost maturity and delicacy. There is no justification whatsoever to threaten a woman. Talk more of being physical with her. Dad, I'm deeply sorry for for the embarrassment what happened cost you. Mom and Nelly have been to my room individually and have explained and apologized to them. I mean, I told them the reason for, for, for my actions and... No, 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 no. No explanation. I will not accept nor hear any explanation. What I need you to do now is to go and apologize to Eve first. There's no need for that, Dad. Eve and I have made up. Great. <laughs> That's my son. But we also agreed that she would give me some time to work on my research for the next one month. That will enable us to devote um, more time to work on our relationship. And, uh, and um, take it to the next logical level. And that is marriage, right? Dad. That's a... Look, son. No argument. That is exactly what you would do. I mean, you are my only son. At 33. What I should be expecting from you is to give me a grandchild and not to act drama with a lady. Dad, love comes before marriage. You haven't even asked me how I feel about Eve. Not when she's the only one I have seen with you for the past three years that you returned from the United States. Oh. Is there any other girl you are going out with that I'm not aware of? Not at all. So, if is it? Look, son. If you've not already loved her, you better start developing love for her. Because that is what you should do. The wait and excuses are over. You are getting married this year. Yes. Dad, anyone I will love or marry must genuinely love what I do first. I don't think Eve does, more than her spoiled brat attitude. That is what drives my heart away from her ever since we started seeing each other. That does, I just, I just wish you can understand, seriously. Have you told her that? Why would I? She's matured enough to understand that. No, son. There is no art of man to see the mind's construction in the face. Yes. You see, son, communication is the chief ingredient in the soup of love and marriage. So talk to her, son. Talk to her. OK? Agbe! Ai! Ha! What can I possibly do in this life without food? Hunger really deals with us today. Hunger deals with me. Only on me, Paco. In that forest. Eh? Hunger. It is now battle for battle for me and you. By the time I'm done dealing with you, this food, even a pregnant woman will be jealous of how big my belly will be. Because, oh, Megona. Hey, Otago. 
Struggling to swallow. Ah, so that fufu is baby, baby head size. Ah, no wonder when I swallowed it there, uh, it made a heavy sound in my belly. Keep it. Eh? Mama, don't worry, I will not kill myself. I will read this in this time. <laughs> you know what happened today? Eh? Mama Hunger almost killed me today when I went to the Bokbaka forest to uh, get some Borobona Bavia that we used to cure Mazi, who can for stubborn tuberculosis. So I decided to retaliate all what kind of wire. Asa, mm -hmm. you decided to retaliate. Mm -hmm. So you decided to retaliate by packing all the fufu in the house into your plates. Ha. Huh? Mama walk, I'm gonna need a wire. The um, roasted yam in front of you, who is it for? That one. Uh -huh. Come on, get out here, Gigi. Ha. It's for me now. It's the second phase. I want when I finish dealing with this one. <laughs> you know? Eh? Mama, you, 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 you are mad. Mama. Very, very stupid. What are you doing now? Did you call down the rocket tree? I'm asking you. Is that why you Asa, doing? did you call down the rocket tree? Hey. Asa. Mm -hmm. When I was leaving the house this morning, you ate. Before I left my mama food business, you were eating. And now you want to finish all this fufu with this roasted yam. At once. Are you under a food course? Food course. Food is, food course is a blessing. That one is not a cost. Because bring back my food. Let me continue from where I stopped. Not on your life. Not, not, I said not on your life. Yeah. You are not having it. Yes. Mama. Look, let me tell you. Finish the yam. Eh? Make do with the yam. When you are done eating, in there, I have meat. Wash it. I will use it for my mad food business tomorrow. Me? It, it, it will come Wash down. it after you finish seizing my food. Me? Over my dead body. If you don't return this food, eh? I have declared Guinea work strike for you. You are mad. Yes. May thunder fire that mouth of yours. No problem. Hey! Mama, return my food if Asa. you want me to be helping you. What did return I do my you? food. Asa, what did I do to you? If you still want me to be happy, you return my soup. What wrong have I done to you? <laughs> eh? Since after the death of your mother, mm -hmm. I've been catching for both of us in this house. I have even made a lot of sacrifices by reviving my own oh, mama boot business. Eh? Just to take care of both of us. Eh? Instead of helping me, all you do is to go and wander inside the forest. Looking for, looking for, look, look, looking for materials, eh, for, for your medicine. Which at the end of the day, you end up giving it to them cheap, eh, free of charge. Not even collecting one naira from their hand. What did I do to you? How did I offend you? Did I do anything wrong to become your, 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 your grandmother? Come and touch the food and see, and see what I will do to you, idiot. No, no problem, you can carry anything. You can even carry this one too. What I'm telling you now is that I have gone on. Gene, walk, strike. If you don't return my fufu, forget about anything. Don't even send me on any errand because I won't do it. No, no, let's go there. Now. Let's see. We will see now. No, we will see who will suffer it. See, take this fufu. Take this one. See if you are not back. Come and carry this one. Take it. Take it. Check it. Let me not wait for you. Let me not wait for you in there. You see what I'll do to you. From henceforth, you'll be you'll be the one doing all the jobs in this house. You lie. They must be the end of the day. It's a And you have a strike. Nonsense. Only food. You will see. Nonsense. No problem. Idiot. I will not like this. God is no problem. We will see who will suffer it in this house. You cannot do anything without Asa's help. So let's go there. You will see. Come. Return my fufu. Return my fufu. I want to open the mega soup. And you are carrying it like that. Return it, this woman. Return it, oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank goodness I met you. <coughs> I was going to your house. Please help me, I'm dying. My heart is on fire. <coughs> this cough is killing me. He did not come to some money. It's now you see that I'm eating, that you decided to come. Oh, I'm sorry for bothering <coughs> bothering you. I'm sorry. I'm dying. Please help me. <coughs> Listen. Even if I want to help you, I cannot help you now. Because I can't go back to my house. Mm -hmm. The medicine I will use in taking, in curing you is in my room. But I can't go there because I'm on strike. Strike? Mm -hmm. <coughs> my grandmother took my fufu. I decided to go on strike until she returns it. So if you really want me to help you, Go and tell her to return back my apple. You know, go. I will help you. <coughs> if Fufu is your problem, <coughs> I have a solution. I mean, my wife has the solution in her kitchen. As I was coming out, <coughs> mm -hmm. she was preparing a very large Fufu. <coughs> Even seven people <coughs> cannot finish. Your Please wife? Help me. And the house? Yes. <coughs> So you have fufu now, you have his water, water, and I beg you. Mm. Which soup did she cook? I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. I'll help you. Oh? <coughs> Gently, gently, why not why you? I said thank you very much. May the God of Allah bless you. May the Almighty God bless you. This is not the thank you you promised me. You promised me your wife's apple. Up here? Mm-hmm. Now you are okay. Take me to your house so I can eat the apple. Else there will not be any medicine for you again from Asa. For what you have. Let's go. Changed into years too? Yeah. What for? What do you mean? I thought you said you're coming straight from the designer's place only to see how mine fits. You are so cute. Well, I needed you to see how mine fits too. Do you like it? Check me out. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Don't I look so good? <laughs> Don't we look so good? We are looking like the most adorable couple in the entire African continent. I love this. Well, uh, the designer did, did a great job, actually. Sure he did. Yeah. You know me. I always go for the best, honey. Mm, I'm loving this. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going to love this. Oh. Mwah. Hey, hey, there won't be need for this, all right? We're going for the same function in the next two days. Cheese. Why the selfies, Say though? Cheese, baby, cheese. Oh, <laughs> this is for my viewing pleasure. I'm going to keep myself heavily entertained by these pictures while I stay away from you as you have demanded. But, but you know, 
I do not want to miss the all eyes on us scenario when we holding hands together, walk into the event. <laughs> it's gonna be so hot. Holding hands as we walk into the event ground. Check this out. Even if the master of ceremony charges a million naira to specially and publicly announce us, I'll pay gladly because we are worth it. You know, it's gonna be so great like this. <clears throat> Presenting the arrival of Mr. Oscar Ibeque and his billionaire fiance. <laughs> Can you feel the heat already? What for? Baby, we are social elephants. An elephant does not enter an arena unannounced. You know that. And you know me, I am Eve Tamala Edwards. I'm a big social elephant. And I know you're shy, but not to worry, you get used to it. Your obscure lifestyle is about to fly out through the window, courtesy of Moa, your billionaire fiance. Hello. I have not proposed. But you will soon. Won't you? Excuse me, I need to take off this cloth. All right. All right, baby. All right. Dear Oscar, you are already in my pocket, baby. Your entire family already is. This one, what you did do? Now, just shakara. Mm. <laughs> Me, madam, Ebem Nesu Bimo is my heart. <coughs> I'm going to write last place. Me, madam, Ebem Nesu Bimo, who is here? I'm going to tell them, I'll tell them, more with them. Me, madam, I'm madam. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't put your eyes in this compound, Joe. I have a, I have a flower here. So you don't come and plug it before me. I'm a madam. Ebem Nesu. Hey! What's up, bro? What's up, bro? I don't make them one. Egovina. See, let me tell you. Hmm? You are my the, the mother of my future generation. Hmm? You are the mommy water, goddess, goddess, the most beautiful goddess. Mommy water in the land. <laughs> How are you, my love? How are you? Mwe. Asa mu. Eh? Dia 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 dia. Amo. Dia ba. Eh? Idiot. No, if I ask you to come, you'll come. Come. You better you didn't mind. How many times have I warned you to stop coming to this house? No, how many times have I warned you to stop calling me that stupid, those stupid names of yours? Eh? I know your problem. <laughs> Let me tell you. Eh? I see ogling one. Nedi ran a jodiam jawakwagi onugeba. And I said, I don't know what you are doing. <laughs> what is a pretty fool? Mm, what is pretty fool? A beautiful woman. A pretty damsel. <laughs> a woman who acts like you. <laughs> Use this pretense mm, to admire the husband. Me. What do you Adma who? who is my husband? <laughs> you are admiring me. Let me tell you. Once we get married and we are... Who is my husband, idiot? You. Marry kill you there. <laughs> Me, marry you. Only matrimony. Over my dead body. Welcome. I will never marry somebody like you. Uh, that's me. I'd rather die than marry somebody like you. Uh, you. Listen to me, Beto Iji I, I, Asam Petengwa Nyoma, we marry a rich man. Potentially rich. A very wealthy man, that's for me. that matter. That's you know, you people underrate me in this village. You don't know what I'm up to. You will see it. Ah. Uh, a useless man. Look, look, listen, don't provoke me. Leave this place before I don do donate to useless boy to the spirits of the forest. Right. Ah. I will use it to acquire, acquire, acquire more knowledge on Moraguna Bajia. Bam! Mwah! <coughs> <coughs> you can't, it's a lovely slab. <laughs> if you slap me now, I'll be so happy. It's a lovely slab. Let me tell you, bam! 
See, I've been praying for this kind of opportunity. For we to marry spiritually, because I know it will not happen, it might not be possible physically, but the spiritual is better. So that it will be joined in holy matrimony in the spiritual world and take a spiritual vow, marital vow, spiritual marital vow, you've not heard about this one now. Let me tell you, you have to be very, very attached to me, so I will teach you so many things. This thing in spiritual uh, uh, marriage is very difficult to do. It is not that type of people used to do. There are so many things. Let me tell you, first one, if you think of it like the of us, that is divorce, you die. It is you that will die. In fact, your father will die. Leave this place at once. Let's assume it's you now. Now, then, you now think of eating Ibroto, my Ibroto, my heart and Ibroto. What is Ibroto? Eh? Go on. You want to eat it last night? I will kill you. Sikwaba Apuana. Anybody that knows you should come and carry you away from this compound. You refuse to give it to me. Mm. Yes, what well, as an issue? The gods will be angry. In that case, you better wait for me. I'm mad. Are you going? In? Your, your, your biography. Oh, sorry, it's not correct. Your, your biology. Your biology. If you eat it without me, you have issue. Oh, you are leaving. Don't worry, my name is Egui. I will remain here. No leave, no transfer. Rubbish. I know that, I know what you are going to do is pretense. You want to go and bring the dead of our wedding. <laughs> you want to bring the dead of our wedding, but it will not work. I am waiting. I must receive that. Tinake! Tinake, come on. I can't. Come on, come on, Like a drug to you. I will roast you like a roasted yam and eat you raw. Idiots. Hey, see. Look at the drug cargo. Come into a better like me. You want to marry me? Hey. Asa. Asa. You have suffered in this way. It is in my name. Hi. Idiots. Oh, come back here. Let me walk up. All right, darling. Talk to you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Good night. I love you, baby. Wow. <laughs> I told you the plan B will work. You will gradually win his heart. A lot of things. <laughs> Just small things. Oh, Absolutely. Little things. And after the stunt I plan to pull tomorrow at the traditional wedding venue, <laughs> the plot will finally be complete. Hmm. Yeah. Bloggers and press men will do the rest. By the time the news of our engagement goes viral, he will have no choice but to marry me. Exactly. That's avoid, the point. <laughs> to avoid scandal. <laughs> <laughs> Us in a couple uniform. Yes, baby. Romance. Mm -hmm. Engagement stories. Oh, my word. All of these and more will massively trend on social media in the coming weeks. Mm. <sighs> and I will... Um, <laughs> I will wear this on my engagement finger and I'll deliberately brandish it while we take pictures <laughs> at the wedding event. <laughs> <laughs> this will validate our engagement. Exactly. All of this and more will happen and then my darling Oscar will have no choice but to do the needful mm -hmm. and marry me. Yes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> my darling Oscar.
tomorrow, E. Tamano Edwards will finally have you cornered. Prepare to marry me, boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a sexy mean girl. I know, Shane. I love you. Come here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dad, how do I look? I don't understand. You aren't either supposed to be going oh. to Zion and Jim stretching away the dresses. Oh, that? I changed my mind. Are you joking or something? No, Dad, I'm dead serious. The optics doesn't sit well with me after giving it a good thought last night. <laughs> She's joking. <laughs> Look at you. you, you're trying to shock me, right? Okay. All right, boy, you won. Now, turn around. Let me take you to your room so I can help you get dressed in the proper outfit. No, Let's I, go. Listen, I'm not joking. I also changed my mind about some other thing. You're not going with me. I'm going alone. Oh, we had a deal, Eve. Remember? Now, if I ever see you anywhere close to Akopa, this relationship will be called off. In fact, a common high from me to you will be forbidden. Don't even dare, it's locked. I'm seriously worried. My only son has no opposite sex relationship. I mean, how can a handsome young man like that find it difficult to associate with women? How? Even a young lady like Eve Tamano Edwards with class and affluence who is literally throwing herself all over him. Sweetheart, Eve is a kind of young lady any man will give the world to have, but not my son. Not my own son. I can bet with anything that he's not a gay. Absolutely. My son is not a gay. I mean, we are aware of two past relationships that he had. God, what is happening to my son? What is wrong with him? So that I, I, I think he needs to see a psychologist. Who needs to see a psychologist, Mom? Your brother. How does a young man run away from girls of class and character? And it has been the same story since he came back from his father's studies in America. Do you have any idea what could be his problems, Nelly? Because your dad and I are very worried after what he did to Eve a while ago. Eve? But I thought they both traveled to attend Jim and Zion's traditional wedding. They didn't go again. He refused going with her. Treated her like a smelly shit before your dad and I. Not again. 
The poor lady left here absolutely disappointed and humiliated. Mom, Dad, I think Eve and us are pushing him too hard without pausing to ask if he sees his woman in her, if he loves her at all. I would suggest we give him time and space to probably find the woman he loves. Nelly, what are you talking about? Is Eve not beautiful? She's intelligent. Mm -hmm. From a wealthy and famous family, what could he be looking for in a woman? Again, tell me. It's all about choice, mom. Her wealthy and famous background and that of the other girls you referred to earlier might just be the turn off for him. Listen, Mom, has any one of us considered that possibility and tried to engage him on that? No, not at all. Like I said, he will find someone to love at the right time. Right time, you say? Where would that right time be? Where? Virtually all his friends are married with kids. His age mates, they are married with kids. As a matter of fact, he's on his way to attend his childhood friend's wedding. So, when will other people attend his own wedding? When? I understand you, Dad. I promise to speak with him when he gets back. Perhaps he will open up to me. Nelly, we gave Eve our word. Well, I want us to explore every option and suggestion at this moment. Okay? <sighs> Darling? I am tired. Can I get water from you, please? Yes, Mom. <sighs> <laughs> All the bloggers and pressmen I paid for this are on their way to the event. Yeah, and, and here, here I am, Sally, I'm supposed to be there. And how on earth do I explain my absence? Oscar, you bastard. How can Oscar do this to me? Fuck you! Fuck him! Calm down with us! Idiot boy! <laughs> Eve, you just need to calm down, please, baby, please. <laughs> Oscar, you must be, you must be. Calm down, please, calm down. What? How, how can I calm down? Look at this stupid ass idiot boy. How, how can he send me this? This idiotic test message! What the fuck does he think he is? It is the prize that you want to win at all costs. That is who he is. <laughs> and you know it very well. Or have you forgotten what you're after? No, I haven't. Listen, honey. Nothing that huge and good comes easy. Okay? <laughs> Baby, obstacles will always come on the way to getting it. But strategies will always take care of it. Now tell me, what is your new strategy to take care of this new St obstacle? Strategy? I have no strategy. I can't even think straight. My brain is too fucked to think straight. That is why you need to calm down. You need to think. Because I am thinking too. Look at me. We are in this together. There is no way I am going to allow you to go through this stress without helping out. Two heads are better than one. Okay, baby? You just need to be fine for me.
Jama. Mm -hmm. Ah, this money is too much. What am I supposed to do with it? Eat it. Eh, swallow it. Yes. Come on, take it to Eliza. They had to give you the bag of rice and ask her to keep for me. Eh. Eh. Okay. All this money to buy bag of rice. How many bag of rice am I carrying? Asa. Eh? How much is one bag of rice? And how much do you have in your hand? Eh. Let me count it. Wait. This is 200. This is 500. Another 500. Eh? <laughs> 500 again. Another 500. Hey, 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 what, what is your problem? Eh? Did I ask you to tell me the types of Naira notes you have? Eh? Or to tell me how much you have in your hand? Eh, is that what you're asking me to do? You should have allowed me to finish counting it before interrupting me. Watch your look, I'm busy on counting. Eh, hi, Bumo. Get back, we can count it, Bumo. Hmm. Why you? Why you? 200. Hi. Hi. 500. Hi. We're going to have a little bit of my money. Get out of here, can't you need it? 500 Chai, 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 it's Here. Shame on you. Eh? Go and give Eliza the money to, to, to give me the bag of rice. Okay, she not count the money again. She will count it herself when you get no, there. Mama, stop confusing my confusion. Look at you. You it's told me to count the money. You can't even count. Stand up from there. Do not talk stop. Here. Oh. Go, 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 stand, stand up. I am coming, my gram, I'm coming. Ah, so that's from there. So, so we ain't making shit. Gamma, go and meet her to give me the bag of rice. When you get there, she will count it herself. It's it, in pataka. I should not count it again. Don't count. I don't want I to count. I should give her the money. Like yes. Gamma, you say I should not count it again. Don't count. Go, 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 go. Okay. It's only food you know how to eat in this house. If you if you flock aura. Gamma, but I'm going the message you sent. Me. Go, just go, 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 go. Hi. It's a bully boy. Yeah. Ah. Hi. Asa. Ah, You're not going anywhere. Hey. You are not going anywhere. Ha. Hey. Akachakwa. You're this not living here. This woman. Ha. Leave my trouser alone. I don't know. 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 I will kill you. Huh? I will kill you. Hmm. You will kill me. I will... Look, oh, I will... Oga, I am tired of drinking only Gary in your house. Give me money for soup. I will not drink this Gary alone. I will not drink it. Give me money for food. With the Gary and the protein that I give you every night, you are looking like this. I are still complaining. Uh -huh. eh? With the Gary and uh, this, the protein that I give you every night. That is the you only thing you know how to do. The only thing you know how to do is... The only thing you know how to do. Give me money. You don't, 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 don't know why you married me. Leave me, try that alone, no. Otherwise, I will kill you. Woo hoo! Hey, 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 Hi! Give it to her. Ask him. Ask him what? This one. Madam, you don't even need to tell me to ask me to ask him anything. It's a very simple something. If you don't know how to use your lips and your tongue, your teeth, Inko, eh? is it not working? Huh? Use it all. Don't know? mind now. <laughs> she said, don't, don't, don't mind now. Eh? Don't mind now. Yeah, eh, eh. Don't, don't mind now. Eh, eh. Look, look, look. Eh, look. Ah! 
I said you're a devil. I said you're a devil. This marriage is over. It has expired. Eh? The marriage has expired. Are you going to let him go like that? For what? Collect the tip now. Back on your meal. Collect it. Back on your meal. This marriage. This marriage has expired. That the marriage is over. That will punish you. We are just starting, you know. This is just the beginning of this marriage, you know. Let me out. 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 Way to Apple in Akokwa. Oh, Apple in Akokwa? Yeah. Uh, okay, take straight. Okay. Straight, yes. Once you take straight now, there's a road by your left. You follow that left. Go straight. About six posts from there, you will see a, another road by your. Uh, follow that road down. That's the road to the market. By my way? Left. By your left, okay. yes. So when you get, once you get to the market, you are in Akokwa. Okay. Yeah, thank Just you very simple. Much. All right, thank All right, you. Bye bye. Told you, this marriage is expired. Expired. Mbado. Go and pack your things and, and go to your father's house. Mbado. What are you looking at? Hey, wait, 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 huh? wait, 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 now I see why this your wicked husband is feeding you with oligan. Because with this type of strength you have, if this man should feed you very well, you will kill him within two weeks. See? You this man. Thank you, my sister. Asa, oh. what are you looking at, my daughter? Not see him, Elena, out here. Not see him. Eh? I was trying to look like, uh, to know whether he's a, a she or a he. Because this your child is very confusing. Her ear looks like that of Ntiele. Eh? Eh? And her eye? What do you call her? Are you okay? But it looks like the eye of a man. The lips, self, I don't understand. Please, this your child looks. Is he a boy or a girl? Ah, uh, sir. My child is a girl. Now, leave this place. Go out of this place. Oh, a girl? Mm, sorry, oh. So you are a girl. But how come she did not even look like you or even like your husband? Eh? This your child looks like uh, Mazi Onukwe's children's. Uh, uh, she looks like Marcel Nukwe's children. You know how flat their nose is? Oh, this your child looks like Marcel Nukwe's children. Oh. That's what was confusing me. You know you people used to date in those days. <laughs> Everybody knows. Are you people still dating or you're no longer dating? Hey! It's just a question, no, my sister. Don't be angry. <laughs> I'm just asking a question. Because you know you people used to be an item in those days. Okay. So you don't taste it too? I have told her separately that this child doesn't resemble any of us. It's then she has been denying. Because the nose. I told you. The nose is like my nose. Go and look for the father of this child. You people should stop this. She's your child and you know it. You're lying. And you are, sir. You that knows how to foreclose in someone's issue. By the time I am through with this idiot, I will meet you. It, you will see what I will do you to you, up again. You can't. Your side, my sister. I'm on your side. Hey, sister, I'm on your side. Eh? You cannot meet me, yo. Eh? I'm supporting you. My sister, wait, yo. Hey, 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 hey. Where Stop that. Where are you from? Hey, hey. Asa. Where are you from? He's, he's, not, he's not from this our village. Because this guy, he takes like the, that of his squad or a backlinky guy. Very sweet guy, yo. Asa. Hmm? Move your hand from that guy. I should do what? I said, stop taking that guy. Stop. 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 No, if I don't stop, what will you do? No, okay, because I have not told your wife about you. Eh? Because I haven't told your wife that you're nothing but a common criminal. On your shot. Oh, oh you're you begging me not to talk. This is your husband. Okay, let me now say it. He's a common thief. On your shot. I caught him life and direct. Stealing fufu from Mazonoka's wife's kitchen. And he begged me not to expose him. I've kept it for myself. And now he thinks he can talk to me anyhow. Because you are here. Should I continue? No, should I go further? 
What you are begging me not to talk. What are you doing? No, my... Oh, you are giving her a sign so she will not tell me, eh? Oh, so you are a thief. You went and stole her. Don't mind how. You are a thief. You are a thief. Don't worry. Don't, Don't worry. She's only lying. Hey, Mazi, you want me to drop bomb, okay? No, you want me to drop another bomb on your head that will kill you now, okay? Well, my sister, it's not from my mouth that you will hear that this your husband was caught sleeping with the carpenter's wife a few days ago. Yes. I am not a cheap gossip. I don't like to say what I... I, 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 I don't like us. But this your husband is not who he's supposed to be. And he knows it. Don't mind her. Don't mind you. She wants to take your place. Take which place? You are a liar. I'm got it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. So... She wants to take you your this place. You this man. So you have been cheating on me, eh? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. You have been cheating on me, okay? Kick You have been cheating on me, okay? You have been cheating on me. You have been cheating on me, okay? You have been cheating on me, okay? Hello? Please, I'm looking for Sophos family. You're looking for Sophos family? Yes. Um, I don't know if um, you can... Wait. You're looking for Sophos family and you're looking at my body. No, they, did, did they tell you that Sophos family is in my breast or in my bum bum? What? D don't even watch me anything because I saw you. Yes, your eyes and your mouth were not cooperating at all. Your mouth was busy saying another thing while your eyes was busy looking at another thing. And I can see you. Please, I don't know what you're looking for. Am I mean, um, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, it's okay. I, I apologize. Whatever. Can you please show me the place? Okay, it's a bit confusing. I don't know if it's down or up. Where? Where, where is Sophos family? The way to Sophos family. I should show you Sophos family. Yes, please. You want me to show you the place? Yes, please. One, let's agree. Do you agree that you not look at my breast or at my bum bum again? Oh, you will face front. But I wasn't even looking at your bum bum in the first place. But it's okay. You are trying to lie now. Can you and please? And you make me to change my mind and start going to where I was going to. Please, can you show me the place? Please. Agree? Yes, agree. Open it now. It's open. You can just use the door handle. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're going up. Straight. Yeah, okay. Straight. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. But the roads look quite confusing. Buchimo, mi buchimo, mi buchiyanja uzoi. Hey! This Gary is the Gary of the century. Eh? This one is heaven on earth, Gary. <laughs> hmm. What a day. Oh. Hey! This Gary is sweeter than honey. What would I have done today if I had missed the opportunity of packing this Gary up? Hmm? You really want to talk to him? Hmm? To Wale? Asa! Grandma? Grandpa? You are here? Hmm, I traveled. Hey. Grandma, 
place. Don't mind me. Is this guy you? Come on, you should test it. This guy has chief tensi tights. Very sweet, like honey. China, take. I'm gonna lack it on that. I'm gonna lack it tight, I can take what you have. No, don't let me make my It's just for you to eat it like this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm going to go to West Columbia. Gary that has chief tansy title. Will you stop this nonsense about Gary? Huh? You see, Mokani, Megi? Where is the bag of rice I asked you to go and collect from Eliza? Where is it? Rice? Uh, beans. Beans. Yes! I said yes. Where is it? Timo. 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 Hasa. Hey, Asa! Who is she? Who is she running? Asa! Hey! Hey! What is wrong with this girl? My bag of rice. My bag of rice. My bag of rice. My bag of rice. Hey! Now, mom, who picked you? My bag of rice. My grandma's bag of rice. Oh, my God, I love that. Oh, my God, I love that. Oh, my God, I love that. Hey! Did you see my bag of rice? What is Hey! I don't want more. I don't want more. I don't want more. Can you get me? What do I tell this woman now? Hey! Wait, oh. I'm going to go to the mafia. Eliza! Eliza! Eliza, you saw my rice! Hey. Oh. Let us have a money! Hey. Hey. Money, huh? money. Okay! okay. Oh, no, no, no. Give, give, give it! Oh. You're wasting my time! Oh. Shut, shut up! Will you shut up? Hey. Let you have that money now! Okay! Give you have the money! Okay! That's what I want to do! No, no, no. That's it, that's it. No, no, no. That's all. That's all. No, no, no. That's all. That's all. That's all. No, it's finished. No, it's finished. We have the money. It's finished. It's finished. No, no. There's no money. It's paper. 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 No, no, nothing. 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 Nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. Nothing is here. Touch him now. Touch him. 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 Mad people. Touch him. Lala. No, no, no. You can't. Cheap robbers! Come back now! No, come back and continue! I see why that will not use this your weapon and cut off your head! Yala! You are robbing in my village! Eh? Hey. Stupid people! Hey! Why would you take such risk? Which risk? No, which risk? Me trying to help save your life is risk! You see why I don't like ungrateful people? Eh? I hate very, I hate coward and ungrateful people! I was only trying to help you. Instead of you to say thank you, you are telling me risk. No, no, I'm trying to say... So it's risky now. You play with your life. Why, why would you do that? Play with my life. Which life? Please, don't tell me that. Eh? Is this not the toy gun they were using to murder you inside your car? You were shaking like a jellyfish. Now, you, instead of you to say thank you, you are here telling me risk my life. Look at it. Look at it. Nonsense. No, let them come back here. Eh? Come. What? <laughs> but how how did you know it, it, it was a toy gun? How did I know? Yes. Well, I did not know. I just saw them trying to rob you before me. So I decided to risk it like that and chase them away. I did not know. Uh, hi. 
It's not even these people that is doing me now. My grandma's bag of rice that I left it there. I left it there. Oh my God. Uh, uh, wait. Uh, Hello. Uh, whoa, Eliza. Uh, uh, wait, Eliza where? has stolen the rice. My grandma will kill me today. Her rice, her bag of rice that she sent me to go and buy. I forgot it. Eliza. Uh, Eliza. Uh, 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 at least let me accrue you for what you Asa, <laughs> what is it? Oh, yeah, my robbers attacked the rice where I kept it, oh. They stole the rice, stole the bag, and even stole the sand over the bag, oh. Everything vanished, Grandma. Asa? Grandma, I'm sorry, oh. Asa? <laughs> you are joking, right? No, no, I'm not joking, Grandma. We have uh, a guest. Uh, He's greeting you. Answer him now. Good day, Ma. Uh -huh. uh, uh, sorry, Ma. It's, it's actually my fault. Mm. You see, she was just trying to show me direction and then. Hey, uh... hey, hey! Look, young man. Hey. I do not know who you are. If you don't want me hey. to sacrifice this idiot, hey, Grandma. this fool to her ancestors. Tell her to go and get me my bag of rice. Hi. Wherever she kept it. Else I will kill her with my bare hand. If you are talking about me. Ma, 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 please. Ma, 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 please, please. Ma, ma, look. I, I, you see, I, I would have brought her home with another bag of rice, but, but, but then some guys robbed me off my cash. Uh, but then we've been going around looking for that, that, that same rice, but then the rain, uh, the, the, the rain. We... Oh, shut up your mouth! Grandma, you have to be did coming down. Did, did, did I tell her I, I want to buy, buy me a bag of rice, young man? I have my own bag of rice. Let her go and get my bag of rice for me, else I will kill her today. Grandma, now! Ma. I need my bag of rice! No. Ma, yes, please, take it. a chill pill and not be up in the hill. Hello, hello ma. Yo. Please, well, I'm going, I'm going to buy another one for you. Ma, please, please, ma. Hey, 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 Sorry. Open mouth, open mouth, open. Hold hey. her mouth. Yeah. Well, let me check for inhaler in my car. But, madam, what happened to this same uh, medicine that I gave you to be using on her whenever this thing starts? While I was inside, she and her brother went close to the smoking fire. Hey, I came out to, to meet her like this. Why? Hey. I told you. Madam, they are quite you see this woman joko? It's a very dangerous sickness. So I know what I'm saying. Anybody that has it, or whose child has it, has to be managing it with this my uh, relief concussion. Bending when I get the permanent cure for this sickness. Eh? I am searching for some leaves. Once I have them, all these things will be over. Just be praying for me. She'll be fine, I know. She'll be fine, eh? Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm trying to get something straight. Girl, you just you just stopped a major asthma attack in less than two minutes. Eh, uh, now. And you just said you're on the verge of finding a permanent cure for it. By the grace of God, though, because this uh, anguma joku is, is a very dangerous sickness. Eh? Look at the only Who are you? Hmm? No, are you a homeopathic doctor? What's the grandma? Eh? It's a grandma. Grandma. what? Because see me, oh, I don't even have a son. Not to talk of homo. I don't know where you are coming from. I am just a natural uh, healer using my Mbolabuna Kwaisha to help people that are sick. Because I don't know what you are talking about. Kekwa Kya Buho Mumpa. Kekwa Kya Buho Mumpa. Is your own missing? In fact, your time is up. Come and be going. No, I just... I... Now what's that, sir? Now let him go now. Let him go! Grandma. You, you know, they stole my rice. I've not found the rice. I've never found it. I'm not, I'm not.
someone is in a good mood today. Oh yeah, what's up, sis? <laughs> ah. I'm good. You look dashing as usual. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me, how did the wedding go? Today is a very big day for your brother. Hmm. God took me to our corpora for a reason, Nelly. <laughs> that reason is why your brother returned the happiest man on earth now. <laughs> this sounds big coming from a guy who is hardly excited over anything. Oh yeah, check this out. What happened? Tell me. I met someone. Hmm. I met someone who was the clue to my research. A fundamental clue I've been searching for in the last eight months. Check this out. Hold on. You mean you met a fellow pharmaceutical researcher at Jim's wedding? Hell no. I met a local girl. <laughs> a local girl, I believe, has the missing link to the big breakthrough I've been searching for all this while, sis! <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait. Wait a minute. A local girl. Yeah. It's funny. With the missing link. Exactly. <laughs> to a research mm -hmm. being done by an Ivy League university graduate like yourself. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> but well, I know it's how funny. It sounds funny, right? But that's the whole truth. A young lady mm -hmm. and an orthodox medicine practitioner. Oh, yeah. You see, she's a great asset. I can use her talent and her vast knowledge in herbs to create a patented medicine that will cure asthma permanently, which is what I've been researching all this while. Wow, that's <laughs> really good news. Congratulations, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Tell me, did you discuss this with her? Oh yeah, she agreed to work with me, okay. But according to her and her grandmother, the, the knowledge was passed on to her by her late grandfather, okay. Uh, that the spirit appears to her time to time to instruct her on how to, you know, do the treatment thing. But then, if she must retain that knowledge, she must not collect money from anyone she treats until she finds a permanent cure to a you know, particular ailment, which is what inspired her interest in finding a permanent cure for asthma. And most importantly, if she must pass that knowledge to anyone, then it must be her lawfully wedded husband. Let me break it down again. If she must pass that knowledge to anyone, then it must be her lawfully wedded husband. Yeah. And then she must not leave the village. Yeah, she must not leave the village to anywhere except she's moving into her husband's house. What? Yeah. If she fails to keep any of these rules, then she will lose everything. Scary, right? And you came back this excited and all goofy. How are you supposed to walk around all these conditions? Honestly, Oscar, if my advice is really what you need here, I'm sorry. Like, I'm too shocked to know where to start from. Shocked about what? Shocked that you're already given such a bizarre idea a thought. A barely educated village herbalist, in your own words, Oscar. You know, her grandfather's spirit uh, visits in her dreams part. That guy might even be involved in some spiritual stuff and all that. And look, bro, if that doesn't scare you enough to come back already, I'm sorry. I don't know you anymore. Come on, man. Jim, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm worried, okay? I'm, I'm worried that that's why I, I, I came to you and, and Zion, right? Zion, 
You're a lady. Okay? It is said that ladies understand the affairs of the heart better. Talk to me. Well, what do you advise I do? Oscar, there's no affairs of the heart here. No, the, the conditions are clear, Zion. She won't even agree to cooperate with me in her research without making her my wife. And I desperately need her in my research. Now, how do I come around that without making her my wife first? This is someone I have no feelings for. This is someone I don't love. My goodness. This is messier than I thought. You already made up your mind to marry such a low-life total stranger. And you came to my wife and I for advice on how to, to love her or to pretend to. You, Oscar, an Ivy League University first class graduate, a second degree holder. Come on, bro, what has come over you? What is wrong with you? What happened to your relationship with Eve? Mm -hmm. We had no relationship, bro. You for me? It was just a situation. Shit. Love is a two way traffic. And in the case of Eve and I, it's just one way traffic. And the one way is from high alone. Mm. And which side is the traffic flowing? In the case of you and the village have always been. Well, there's no traffic, this is just a um, presumed love. <laughs> Hold on, Pascal. If I get you correctly, you're solely into this because of what the girl will bring to your table in your research. What then happens to you both when and if? With her help, this research is concluded successfully. Bim, have you thought about it in all of this? Jim, uh, thanks for your time. And once again, congratulations on the success of your church wedding yesterday. And I wish you a successful honeymoon as you travel to Italy tomorrow. Thank you. concentrate still. Eight days gone and all I have done is to think about us and obviously if I don't get her issue sorted out I will not be able to bring the level of concentration required for my research to bear it on ever again. How in God's name am I going to do that? Agree to marry her? A girl so of my social class and who I know very well that I do not love and I will never be able to love. Yes, she is so careless and her manner and tongue the few minutes I spent with her that day. But then, she has a lot to offer me professionally. The if part of the equation, how in God's name am I going to solve it? How do I explain all this to her? To my parents and Nelly? <sighs> Jim was right. Even if everybody agrees and everything works out, what happens when the research is successfully concluded? Divorce? Oh God, what is this whole thing turning me into? What is, what is happening?
is what it is. I, I just got to do what I've got to do. There's no love without respect. There's no respect without obedience. There's no obedience without discipline. No discipline without character. You lack all of that, Eve, Tamuna Edwards. I'm sorry. You have everything. But certainly not my wife or even a girlfriend. Excuse me. Good God, if, what happened? What happened? Isn't it obvious, Sally? Isn't it? What are you talking about? You died my line, cried over three minutes without saying a thing. And, and, and here you are still Prophet, you took me to. Slept with me for three long days. I endured his smelling body and mouth odor. I slept in that filthy dungeon of a place. Then I gave him my one million man. For this, this shit. And yet, they failed. <gasps> what? These fake charms from the fake, lousy lout of a prophet you took me to failed miserably. That's what, Sally. <gasps> are, 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 are you serious? <gasps> oh, wait. Are you sure that you used it exactly how the prophet instructed you to use it? Stupid, do you hear me? Dumb fool. You know I love and want Oscar so badly to have made any form of mistake. I mean, he was supposed to see me and hear my voice and fall head over heels in love. Right? Yes, baby. Well, check this out. He hated me even more. <sighs> And then he went ahead and, and ended whatever we had together. He was so angry. 
he said, I, I failed to keep my own part of the deal. Oh my and then he walked out of his parents so angrily after threatening to leave his family house if they ever brought up talks, talks that had to do with him. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry, baby. I, I'm so sorry, my love. But th th this prophet, why, why could hey, I... Stop it. I don't want to hear about that prophet. You hear me? Yes. In fact, I don't want to see you anywhere near me again. <gasps> Eve now! Eve, get hold of yourself, please! Come on, baby. Let's reason together and, and, and look for a way to salvage the new... Hear this. I will get Oscar by myself. At all costs, no matter what it takes. Henceforth, I will be doing so unaided. That means that your pieces of advice, our friendship, everything that bind us together is over and out. Now, get lost. Baby, come on. Hey, what are you doing? Babe, I'm telling you to leave again, it will be over a broken skull. I'm trying. Out! Get out! Get the fuck out! <laughs> damn you, Oscar! Damn, damn you! Damn you! Fucking proud bastard! <laughs> Yes. Mm. Mm, uh, please, uh, not this one. Let's talk about it. Yeah, oh my word. Good. You sure enlarge this? Yes. <laughs> Dad. Look at the... Mom. Son. Dad. Mom. I'm sorry for distracting you guys, but there's something I want to discuss with you. Well, um, whatever you want to discuss with us, if it is not about you and Eve, how you reconciled, and how you are making plans, I mean, preparations for your marriage, then I'm not interested. Same here. Same here, son. Um, Dad, I... I want to apologize for my actions. Uh, when Eve was here last week, I know I shouldn't have said some of the things I said to her. I shouldn't have left home and stayed out for two days to, without telling you where I was going or telling mom the reason for me leaving the house. That is quite disrespectful. I'm deeply sorry for that. Well, uh, apology accepted. However, if your next sentence has nothing to do with you and Eve, then you better not waste your breath in continuing because you will just be wasting your time. It's about my marriage. I have seen someone I want to marry. But it's not Eve. It's not uh, Eve. Uh, please, suit that. Um, let's hear him out. Hmm? At least for now. Um, Oscar, this woman you're talking about, who is she? And um, has she visited you here before? No, Father. I met her in Akokwa when I went for James' um, 
traditional wedding. And as a matter of fact, the two days I was off, I spent it with her and I got fully convinced that she's the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. <laughs> so fast? Really? So tell me, did you discuss that with Eve? Please, can you can you kindly take Eve out of this discussion? Are you okay? Uh, uh, sweetheart, please. Please. Um, I think we should respect his wish on this one. Um, Oscar. Yes, Father. This lady you're talking about, you said you met her during the traditional wedding of Jim, right? Yes, Father. And um, you spent a few days with her, um, two days or so. Are you saying that uh, the few days you spent with her is enough for you to conclude that uh, she's the woman you want to marry? Yes, Father. I know it might sound funny, uh, probably silly, but um, I'm sure uh, she's, she's the right woman for me. And besides, uh, she's going to be a huge asset uh, to my research. <laughs> really? A huge asset? Yes, Mom. Is she a pharmacist? No, Mother. Uh, a medical doctor, perhaps? No, Father. Is she a botanist or a renowned academic in the field? Mom, she's not. Any of that, she's extraordinary in a unique way. I think you'll both like her when you see her. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. You here? Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Welcome, sir. We have to. Have to. Hold well on. Okay. Hey, that, that's right. Look. Oscar, are you are you sure I can do this? Of course you can. Come. Hi. All right. All you have to do is to keep your head high when talking to my parents, and we are good. Because this shoe is paining me. Oh, it will don't not let me to talk well. Don't worry. Four <laughs> minutes, we are done. Okay. Just keep your head high. Be classy and smile, right? Don't push me hard. Let me be walking easy. All right. No, no, no. Hey, just just behave yourself. Is the shoe now? Let me keep it inside the car and no, walk with my ten toes. Oh, you don't need to put it inside the car. Let's go. Come. Come. Just smile, all right? Smile. You know, smile, right? Smile. You're good, right? You're mm. dressed as fine. Your shoe. All you need is a classic composure. That's it. Hey, stand well. You just stand He's spreading me on my knees. He's not letting me okay, stand stop well. Shouting. It's all right. Let's go. I got you. Hey, remember what I said. Comport yourself, okay? Yeah. So, um... Listen, I noticed something, you know. What? The inside has uh, hamatan, while the outside has okochi. Very hot. Oh, shit. Please sit down eh? and comport yourself. Wait, you people carry the hamatan from village to inside here? Yeah? As I remember what you said, huh? comport yourself before my parents. I am comporting it now. I'm going to call them now. Okay. Be still, comport yourself. 
Mm-hmm. Don't forget it, dear, right? I'll be back. Okay. Oh, you! Hey. So this is where he called He's coming from! This is how I done! People think I don't have sense. I said it that they brought Hamatan inside this house. Hey, let me sit where I do. Before Oscar will come and say I did not do what he asked me to do. Mm. What do? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma. So, Dad? How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, ma. Dad? Mom? This is Asa. The girl I told you about. Asa? My parents. Yeah. Um, I say you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Sit. Sit. Make yourself comfortable. Okay. Thank you. So, what is your discipline? Huh? Dad. I mean, what is your area of specialization? <laughs> Sir, um, I deal in Mboroguna Bahia. Oscar, he did not tell me that your father has gonorrhea. What if I will carry my health and come here and treat him immediately? I am very sorry, sir. I promise to bring it next time. Madam Ma, I will come with it. Um, is that right? Um, <laughs> but Oscar, he did not tell me now. But you know I treat people for free in the village. Sir, I hope it's not bad. You can endure for me to go back to the village and bring it. I want to cure him now. Um, uh, uh, it's okay. Um, Oscar. Father. Please find something for her to drink. Thank you, sir. Oh, to drink. Sure. I will bring it, sir, for you. Sure. Sure. Just remember to tell me to bring it next time. Thank you, both. Sir, this house is very wonderful. Please. Why are you giving me sign to shut up? Okay, my pass is with them when I go and bring the drink they ask you to bring. They are telling me to shut up. Shut up as in the words. Ha. So this house is very fine. Yo. Please, how much did the American wonder magician that built this house charge you? <laughs> because I want to know, I want to build it for my grandma when I make rights. And that's so excuse me before that. Mm, your parents, what are they doing for a living? Okay, my parents. It's my grandma that I live with in the village. She's a mama food school and a farmer. My grandma can cook. My grandma cooks for better people and for wedding people. If you eat my grandma's food, eh, you'll be wishing to do better every day in your family and the wedding. And my mother was new plantain and yam roasting business in the city before she died. Okay. As for my father, that one, I don't even know what to call him because I don't know him. Yeah, hey, don't, I don't want to talk about him here. So it doesn't look like I'm bringing people that do not exist in my life business into people that are existing now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, my grandfather uh, was a herbalist before he died. You know, that's why you told me. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> a harvest? Eh? Eh? A <laughs> So, sir, do you have any idea of uh, how much they charge you for this house? Eh? Hey, American wonder. Look at this one. This one will fall. Because it is awesome. How much is that? Oscar, bring my drink for me now. Okay. 
Dad. Oscar, come out of that place. Put this thing on top of you. Hurry. Let me get glasses. I'll be right back. Glasses. Sorry, Dad. Um, it's your matter where you want it to act from. Is there a matter in there? Because it's a good thing. Okay. How do I begin to open this one, Oscar? So can you help me do? Yeah, can you help? That's what I'm trying to do. Open it now. Let me start drinking it. Father. Mom, I, I hope we are together. Yes, now we are together. Did anybody live here? If anybody left, it was you. Madam Ma, are we not together? As you can see, both of us are still here. Yes, very. Well, late now. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah. Dad, I'm about to... Open the wine. Yes, you have my permission to open it. So far, that's no problem, right? Oh. No, father, I just um oh, she's already broken. Oh. I can see father. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. This drink is very sweet, oh. It's, <laughs> it's very sweet. <laughs> hey! Come on, come on. <laughs> Sweetheart, yeah. Sweetheart, I'll just jump to I have to be in my room. And um, Oscar, um, I'll be upstairs um, in my room. Mom, I, are you going upstairs? I thought we still have a visitor. Uh, Madam, Madam, hey, Oscar, stop watching me. This is spending me. You're watching me again on top of this. Madam, are you going to sleep? It's not night already. Uh, no, I'll just be in my room. Oscar, I like her. Oh, you yes. do? She is so good a wife. You have eye for good things. I don't know if I should say thank um, you. I think uh, I tend to support you more. Oscar, can I see you outside, please? Huh? Okay, Father. I hope you are not going to sleep like uh, uh, Madam Ma. Dad. Will, will you just shut up? Say, so shut up! What was the meaning of that? I mean, what was that madness? Or, or, should, should I call it a silly joke or something? The show of shame that you put up there. Dad, I, I understand the, the kind of impression she has made on, on you and mom mm -hmm. and how that makes you feel. But she's much better than what you just saw in there. Mm -hmm. There's a story behind everything and I'm sure when you hear it, you will understand. Please, I implore you, you, you give us some time for my sake, please. Oscar, you speak. As if you are under a spell. No, Dad, I'm not. Just shut up, let me talk. How could you bring such a, a, a nameless and mannerless clown joke in, into my house? Then, on top of that, you have the temerity to introduce her to me as a woman you want to marry. Son, it will not work. Yes. It will not. Read my lips. 
I will not allow you to rub my name in the mud. Idiot. Dad. Dad. What is wrong with you? I, I told you all of this. Behave like a lady for once. Eh? Eh? You just ruined everything. Oscar. No. Can't you use the glass? So, Oscar, you are using style now to remind me that I have not tested this kind of imported Asa, wine. that is not what I'm saying. You promised me that you're going to comport yourself before my parents. Do you know you just ruined everything? Okay. You are insulting me now because I'm in your house. You still do not get my point. Oscar, you are shouting at me now because I am in your house, Okwaya. Eh? This is you telling me to come and be going. And I understand it very well. It is time for me to be going. No, I'm not asking you to leave. Ah. Listen, I know you're not used to all of this, but there's a way you compose Oscar, and Oscar, you cannot bring me from my house to your house to be insulting me. Enugo, you have told me to live in a very rude way and I am leaving. Enolia. I am going now. Sweetheart, listen to what I'm saying. You have been insulting me because of this wine now. That's, that's my See, I don't that's care. I don't care, Oscar. I don't care. You understand? I am ready to go now. Are you dropping me off or should I trek? You know I can still trek back Nelly. to my house. Hi. No. Um. Uh, well, you, you don't have to mind. You know, boyfriend and, and girlfriend um, conversation. Uh, so, uh, meet my, my fiancé, Asa, the girl I, I told you about. Asa, my kid sister, Nelly. You're welcome to our house. Thank you, dear. I am on my way leaving now because your brother insulted me. So soon? Yes, I am going already. Can you drop me off? I mean, please forgive him. I just, I want us to talk. I just want to get to know you. You want me to talk with you? Yes. We'll be in lost soon. Come on. Okay. It's because of you. Thank you. Please sit. Bro. Hmm? Excuse us. Oh, I see. Um, mm. Ladies' conversation. Mm. Okay. Out. So, so, my kid says, wants just talk. <laughs> just talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Please sit. Sit. <laughs> You're welcome oh. to our house once again. Thank you. Um, tell me, Asa, hmm? when did you finish your secondary school? Secondary school? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. I cannot remember it again, no. It is my grandma in the village that knows. Because she writes it down in a calendar. When I get back to the village, I will ask her again. Eh? Yeah? Oh. Wait, no. This... This is wine, mm? This imported wine. Where did you people buy it from? Was it from uh, Eli, uh, Queen Eliza's backyard? Oh, well, I promise you it's imported. But I really do not know where it's from. Huh? The wine is sweet, oh. I, I have even taken the label <laughs> to go and look for it in our village when I get back. I understand. It's okay. Very sweet wine. You yes. still have it another one so you can... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I understand. Um, Asa. Huh? Were you a science student? I, I told you I cannot remember any of these ones again, no? Oh. Yeah? You know, it's been a long, long, long time we, we left school. Oh. I cannot remember it again. I see. Ha. You are not, too. But you can read and write. Of a manner? Very well. I can read and write. In fact, I write letters 
and read letters for my grandma. In my village, eh? If they are calling people who are illiterate in Limbo, nobody calls us out because they know Asa can read very, very, very well and write very well. Except one uh, wicked headmaster in my village that is always pointing fingers at me when they are calling illiterate people in my village. I hope people who don't have only be at like that in this family because I will just vamoose. I see. Ha. I don't like people like that though. I'm there. Thank you. I promise to come next time with bigger alacrity. You will enjoy me next time. Hey! Oscar! What? Wait, 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 You know. This is the evidence I will show her when I get to the village. You're right. <laughs> so can we go in now? Yes, we can go. Now. I have my bottle of wine. <laughs> For you, I go be. Separate us, don't the fire them for you. I go be mumu. That's my show bank. Anyone will go come to separate us, don't the fire them. You are the one my heart a beat for. No one else can take your place. If I cannot have you, no one else will have you. I cannot shake you with any other woman. I will kill for you, I will fight for you, I will never lose you. I will kill for you, I will fight for you. I have dropped her the motor pack. She's funny, isn't she? Funny. Yeah. You call that display of stupidity that she put up all the while she was here funny. Oscar, I could have sworn in this life that you would never ever stoop this low, even for a multi-billion dollar potential from her to your research. Come on, Oscar. We're talking about your wife. Not an assistant help to, to, to M.M., the house help. What in God's name has... Uh, Tell M.M. to get me something to eat. I'm hungry. So, everything I'm talking about is all rubbish, jargon, gibberish. I didn't say that. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar, can you explain to us what went down here? Were you trying to test our emotions? Dad, um, I'm sorry for what happened. In no distant time, you will understand why I chose her. Chosen who? Chosen who? 
Now read my lips. You see that thing? She will never, ever be my daughter-in-law. Never. Yes, never. She will not be bound with this family in any form. You better get that into your head. If you are ready to get married, then get ready to wait Eve Terminal Edwards. Eve will never step into this house as a wife unless she's coming to be your second wife. Dad! How dare you? No. How dare you? Why would you hit him? Will you shut your mouth? Will you keep quiet? Who asked for your opinion? You? It's alright. But mom, you should consider your hell. Just shh. 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 Mom, you know you're not fine. Please just. When I met Asa, you are the first person I discussed about her with. I told you about her potential help in my career and my research. If I marry that girl, the possibility of me, your brother, becoming the richest and the most famous pharmacist in Africa in no distant time will be inevitable. But how would such an uncouth fellow help in your research when she can barely comport herself? Listen, the person I watched and spoke with today is so crass. Uh -huh. I sincerely understand where you're driving at. And I'm not disputing the fact. But you see, excellent manners and class have nothing to do with what attracted me to her in the first place. If I marry that girl, she's going to teach me a lot of practical things in fetal medicine. And that's the attraction for me. And for that, I am going to tolerate everything till I achieve my aim. If I understand you, you don't love her. You just want to use marriage to get her to teach you everything you need to know about herbs. For the sake of your research, am I correct? Exactly. Once I learn everything I need to know when I quit the marriage. That's all. Oscar. Please. I just want you to help me talk to dad and mom. Make them say reasons with me. Oscar. Despite her manners and low class, She's a woman like me. How could you be so... God, like... Please, 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 Nelly. You just have to help a brother. Okay, okay. Let's say I decide to agree to this bizarre proposal of yours. Do you think, Mom, we allow you to do that to someone else's daughter. So, uh, you suggest we keep it to ourselves, right? That would be better. Okay. But the most difficult thing right now is how to convince mom and dad to allow you marry her while Eve is still in the picture, as far as they are concerned. This is my life and my career we are talking about here, Nelly. I alone determines who is in it and who is not in it. Eve is not in it and was never part of my future. Calm down. Calm down. Okay? Okay. Calm 
can't you just pay or trick her into forgetting her grandfather's instruction and teaching you everything you need to know about the herbs? Instead of going to this complicated marriage extent. Well, it's not possible with Asa. <sighs> you see, she might appear unrefined and sometimes silly, but when it comes to her helps and respect to her late grandfather, she can be as smart as a proverbial tortoise. <sighs> I have tried those ideas and I met brick walls. It will not work. I mean, it will never work. Okay. I hear you. Let's see how I fare convincing mom and dad to allow you marry her. You have to promise me that when it comes to time for you to divorce her, you're not going to be harsh on her. Come on, sis. I'm a gentleman. Scout's honor. I promise. Okay, I'll try. Please. This is so dear to me. I'll try. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, how are you? Fine, Dad. Dad, please, I... I want to discuss something with you. I'm listening. It's about Asa. I want to know if... if we can... we can go see her people this weekend. I don't want to ever, ever hear the name of that girl in this house again. Is that understood? Dad, Dad, I love this woman. How else do you want me to explain it to you? Please. Don't you want me to be happy? I'll just give you some time and hopefully you'll hear me out. Just remember, we don't eat frozen food here. What I want is live chicken, not frozen one. Okay. We don't eat pond. Get me river dry fish. Now take this. If you don't understand anything, call me on phone and let me know. Yes, ma'am. Go to my customer and give them that list to deliver all this. Be quick about it. Water dry fish. Water dry fish. Hmm. So stupid. Hmm. Okay. Oh. So 
intriguing. Good morning, Mom. <laughs> Another good morning? We've greeted today, so why oh. good morning again? <laughs> Sorry, Mom, I, I completely forgot. That, what do you uh, want? Are you busy? Um, not really. I'm just trying to create something for my collection and the presentation tomorrow. Oh, I see. Yes. I see. <sighs> May I help you with anything? Oh, oh yes, Mom. What's this? I'm wondering if you can do me a favor. A favor on... About what? You know, I love you, Mom, right? Yes, I love you too, son. And you know, I can do everything for you, anything, to make you happy. Sure. And I also believe that you can do everything to make me happy. Why not? So far is within my reach and anything that is good for you that I know. I want you to help me talk to Dad, to follow me to Asa's place to see her people. Are you stupid? Are you mad? Wait, Oscar. What is it that this girl give you to eat that get rid of your senses? Mom, she gave me nothing. It's just pure love. See, I understand that she's local, but my plan is to send her to school when we get married. You want to send her to the university? Yes, Mom. University? I see. You know what? Come. Come. Sit. What? Sit. Sit. Just sit down. I'm your mother, right? Sit. Perfect. Now let me do the talk. You want to send her to the university, right? Exactly, Mom. Does she have a SAT? Have you seen her primary school SAT? Have you seen her primary school certificate? Now, first, get me her first school leaving certificate and her West African certificate result. And we will continue this talk. Until then, Oscar, count me out between any drama going on with you and our local file. Mom, she doesn't have you a have number. Me. I can register her to take all of that. It's too sad. It's no way she can. I know you're worried, but you shouldn't have brought up the issue with them now. Nelly, I have been working on coming out with something resounding to make the public and those looking up to me to know that I'm serious with this research. The, the media have hyped it enough and it's beginning to cause whispers here and there. I understand. But you have to take this easy. Do not let those considerations stampede you into something that you're yet to figure out the possible implications. Bro, marriage is a serious affair. I know, right? I know, but I have been working on this 
on this research for three years now and nothing to show for it. Nothing. So it's about impressing the press and the public? Have you thought about the effect of marrying that girl to our family? I mean, your family. Which is more important to you? Your present and future domestic peace or your professional success? Both. Then why are you so fast to sacrifice one for the other? Hey, come on, Nelly. I thought we've discussed this before. We did, but I didn't know you wanted everything this fast. So you will still help me, won't you? <sighs> have you? Have you tried to imagine what it will feel like being referred to as the only sister to Oscar Ibiwe? The man that found the permanent cure to asthma and bronchitis. Yes, yes, it will be a thing of pride. So what are we saying then? Bro, I don't just want it at the expense of your inner peace and that of our families. Please, you have to tread carefully. Dad, Mom, I think we should support him. Since from all he has said, he's doing this for the sake of his dreams, his research and his career. Dad, the only dream that Oscar has right now is the dream of getting married to that village uneducated girl. And in fact, he has impressed it on all of us that the only thing he cares about in this world right now is that girl, not him more. He has his plans. Believe me, he does. And when everything falls into place, I promise you'll be very proud of him. No, there is nothing to be proud of if he marries that village girl. You understand me? I mean, how can somebody with such big dreams condescend to marry such a woman as a wife. If he has such big dreams, he should be thinking of marrying Eve. And not I her. will never marry Eve, Dad. I don't love her. What is difficult to understand about that, for God's sake? If you don't want me to marry her, sir, fine. I will move out of this house and you will never, never see me again. Fine. Leave. For all I care, you can go to anywhere you want to go. But I will never have that girl, that village clown, as my daughter in law. Dad, why are you so pained? It's my life we are talking about here and not yours. I am the one getting married. Fresh. Shut up. Receive sense. Receive wisdom for once. I know you think I'm joking. But I mean every beat of what I said here. God knows I mean every beat of what I just said here. Mom, won't you talk to your brother? You don't want to? <laughs> Dad, let's, let's just settle things amicably. Let's try to reason with him. Enough of this. Just get out of here. Leave our presence now. What is it? This is not happening. Bro. Don't you think you're making this more difficult? There are a number of ways to go about this. Which is? 
proposing to the girl, giving her a general reorientation about manners. Then we could watch how she improves in, say, two to three years. You can tell her that the formal wedding will take place after her education. I can convince mom and dad to allow her move in with us. And on that basis, you could get all you need for your research, call off the engagement, and I'm sure mom and dad will get on board with this modified arrangement. Nelly, you are guilty of the same thing I was guilty of when I first met Asa. Thinking she was stupid and naive. I had floated that idea with her and she rejected it outright. Her grandma wouldn't even hear of it. Damn. You remember the story of that guy that was holding the newspaper upside down and he was shouting, Ambassador. Are you saying about that one? What about the wife you brought to my Your son. About that. I left it in the village. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mom, I, I went to see Asa's people yesterday and they, they gave me a list of um, everything needed to perform her, her marriage rights. Take that thing out of my sight before I lay a curse on you. I'm sorry I went to see them without your consent. But you see, you and mom left me with no choice after your reaction the other day. So I I want us to go next. next Oscar, mm -hmm. we are not going anywhere. We are not going anywhere with you. As for the marriage between you and that clown you, you refer to as somebody you want to marry, count me out of it. If you decide to do otherwise and marry her without my consent, then I will be left with no option but to disown you and throw you out of my house. Okay, then. Fine. I will leave. In fact, I will leave right now. Better leave. Uh, Let me have peace. To the calm down. Don't ask me to calm down. Don't. Because you shouldn't be talking to me. You should be talking to this mistake of a son. Eh? Yes. I'm beginning to think that I, I wasted my time sending him to the university. As a matter of fact, I should I should have sent him to, to the village Dibia, the, the hunter or the palm wine tap to learn their trade. And it's tall. Yes. Because it's a huge mistake to, to spend so much money sending him to one of the best universities in the world. So you talk to him and not me. Oscar, what is wrong with you? You and dad is wrong with me. Why do you make me feel like I'm not old enough to make choice about the woman I want to marry? Why? You are old enough to. Nobody is disputing that. But not this choice uh, that is utter nonsense. I mean, it's, it's a crazy choice. And if you decide to continue with this embarrassment, you call it choice, then you should do that under my roof. You should go and build your own house and make some choice in that your house and not here. I will leave. Never. I, I will, will leave. Excuse me. You leave. Idiot. So that calm down. So, don't ask. Calm down. You ask me to calm down. Talk to him. Mom. Please stop to that. What is he doing, Jay? Is that... Dad, you shouldn't have... Oscar. Come on! Stop! Oscar, you can't do this. Can't you see that this idea is about to tear us apart as a family? No. My life is what is being torn apart here by Dad and Mom. I'm tired! Come on, Oscar. Please consider mom's hair. No, 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 no. She will be fine. She will be fine. But me, 
My mental health is going to become the next problem in this family if I don't leave this house now. I'm sorry it has got into this. I really need to leave. I'm losing my mind. I won't Daddy. let you. Don't come close. Please. Do not come close. Oscar, don't do this. I won't let you go. Please, don't go. Please. Oscar, why are you doing Oscar, this, Oscar? Oscar? Why? Why? I'm to make my decision. Oscar, please. Maybe you have to just, just stop Oscar, this. Please, stop don't this. Go, please, please. Can I lose my. Oscar, calm down. Calm down. Take it easy on him. He's an adult. Don't tell me we to need to down. talk to him like an adult. No. You, you are saying he's an adult and you're saying to calm down. Oh, oh, Oscar, Oscar. What's the meaning of this? What has come over you? Eh? Will you go Mom, in and stop. drop? Stop! Stop! I'm leaving your house for you. No, you're not going anywhere, Oscar. Darling, you have to stop him. Please, that woman, enough! Enough of this property! Let it go! Hey, hey, hey! Not so fast. This is my car. I bought it with my money. It is mutually agreed that you are an adult. So you can make your decisions. Make a decision to buy your own car. Now let me have the key. Let me have my key. Oscar. Oscar, stop Oscar, this madness. Stop. Oscar, stop this madness. Stop who? You need to stop him. Stop who? No. Let him go. No, please, you have to bring him back, please. Don't let him go, please. You need to stop him. Stop who? No, please. If anything happens to my son, mm -hmm. if anything happens to my son, yes, I won't say a word. Somebody who is Please order not to take this shot. You are telling me Here. Yeah. Oscar. Chalo. Ha. Has Boko Haram uh, overrun your city, city neighborhood? Wait. They even chased you away and use your company now as their new service for a supplier. <laughs> he said it. You know the case of the one you gave me that day is enough to attract uh, Osama bin Laden, Shagao, Hassan Hussein, Saddam Hussein, yes, Hamas, and Hezbollah people for the for a meeting of uh, uh, living and the dead terrorists in your house. And how many bags of bombs and rockets did they come with? And where did they store it? In your room, where? Answer me. Where? Answer me, because. Stop. Stop. It's Nothing a serious like matter. Where did they store it? Nothing like that happened. Mm. Hmm. Oscar Bowling. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> All right. How are you? Because you, you don't even look fine in my eyes. You look sad though. I hope you're okay. I'm fine. You are fine. Oscar, where is your car? Did you trek to my house? No, I... I left it in the city. I've come to spend some time with my love. Eh? In your bags? Oscar, listen, no. in my village, women don't marry men at all. No. And even if they do, a village girl like me does not have money to marry a, a rich man's son like you. So, better know it now. Ha! I don't know what they are talking about. <laughs> I mean it, Asa. I just want to stay close to you. I've come to spend quality time with you. 
Oh, it's me. Hey. I've come to spend quality time with my love. Huh. Oscar. Please stop it though. You love me. Your love. Ha. <laughs> what can a rich man's son like you want from a half educated dirty village girl like me? Eh? What can I possibly give you, Oscar? I don't have anything, no. Ha. You have, you have everything I want. Everything about you is special to me. The little time we spent together made me get so used to you. Can you at least welcome me? I am so famished. Where do I keep my bags? Grandma, Oscar said uh, he has come to spend some quality time with you. No, with us. Yes, ma. You see, I have come to stay close to her and get to know her better in her own environment. I think that will make a harmonious coexistence for us uh, easier, you know, when we get married uh, very soon. Hey, <laughs> what did uh, your parents say about that? Well, they didn't, they didn't give in to it, but after stating my reasons, they, they finally gave their consent. They gave their consent? Yes, ma'am. And your car, why didn't you come with it? I left it behind to enable me live like you people, you know, without the luxuries that I'm used to. Mm. It's okay. You are welcome. Thank you. Hope you won't find our house too so uncomfortable for you. With the two kind and happy souls like you both, sharing it with me. I think I will have all the comfort I need. There's no better comfort than, than which um, Asa's company gives to my body and soul. It's, it's priceless. You are welcome. As long as both of you will not stay in the same room. Eh? That yes, was, yes. God forbid. Room. Yeah, God will forbid. Let as me long tell you. As Shut up. Wait for the minute. As long as both of you will not stay in the same room or insult my husband's memory hmm. by being intimidated. Grandma, Grandma, you are going far. I am I, not going far. I, I, I'm not done talking. Okay. You are welcome. You can stay as long as you can. Eh, as it is. As I seen you as my son already. Grandma, eh? listen. If Oscar, this Oscar now, misbehaves, eh? Eh, I will bite him so hard eh, that eh, he will good. call a cool okay. Amateur. Good. Look at dogs. Oh. Very good. Grandma, let me tell you, I am moving my things from my room now to your room immediately. Let him have my room uh, all for himself. Oh, come on. Come uh -huh. on. It's good like that. Uh, you can do that one. Thank you, you ma'am. Thank you for agreeing to let me stay at least. See, the last time he was here, mm. he said that uh, that same thing that you do with house, that he studied it in the university in America. Mm -hmm. He said he's also working on the same cure. I am searching for Pauma Joku, the one they call uh, asthma. That is why I called you out here. You see that man? Mm -hmm. I don't trust him. See, you have to be very careful with him. Eh? He looks like someone who is up to something. You better be careful Mama. what you tell him about this you're happy. Mama, you worry too much. Do I look like a fool to you? 
I am very, very smart. See, if he's here to steal my knowledge and add to his own, I tell you something, he will leave here emptier than he came. Okay. Mama, I still remember everything Grandpa told me about the ways of men. Like, Otua. Look at them, Nisi. I trust you. I trust you very well. But all the same, I'll be watching you, Pooh. Yes. Mm, you can do that, Grandma. Don't worry yourself. I promise you, eh? I will never disappoint you and Grandpa. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> you know why you called me? Yes. Grandma. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to sell out anything. I have sense now. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even I, see me. I don't see you. Hey, you know that. You know that. Bernard, you bequen. Bernard, Bernard, you bequen. Can you get out from that place? Oh, you think you can have peace in this house? What is it? Son is nowhere to be found. You lied. You lied. Please, don't, don't, don't provoke me. Excuse me. I should not do what? My friend, get off from that place! No! Ah. Please let him be. He cannot. Until my son returns. It's late at night. Do I care? And the neighbors might just be listening. I don't care! So you've developed wings, right? For you to scream on me and insult me! And I would do that! Again, again, and again! Okay. So you're not big. It's not a matter of bringing. No, you're competing with me. Of, it's a matter of bringing my son back to me. No. You made him leave, so bring him up. In the presence of my daughter, you are insulting me. I don't care. I will not take that. No. I will do more than that. It's all right. I spoke with Oscar earlier. He said he's fine. You lied. Because I know his phone was switched off. I know, Mom. He called me with a private number. Did you hear that? He was doing okay. You know, he sounded really happy and upbeat. You, you, he... Don't, 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 don't touch me! He called you? Yes, Mom, he did. Are you serious? Mom, yes. He's okay. He misses you. Nelly, are you doing this to calm me down? Mom, he didn't call you because you guys are always shouting and... But, no disrespect, Mom. He, He's fine, and I'm not lying to you, I promise. Mom, come on. Nice. Mm, I like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've been enjoying the, the food you've been serving me ever since I came. Mm. <laughs> All thanks to my grandma who registered me into her kitchen nursery school very early. <laughs> hmm. Before I finish my primary school, I have already graduated from her kitchen university. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Mm. So, when we get married, you're going to enroll in the book university, right? Mm. Well, if you want me to, if you like it, I will do it. Anything you want me to do, I will do it, Oscar. So long as it's not evil. Evil? Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm evil? I'm a Dekwani and you Oscar. They don't write it on their face. Yeah? Oscar, listen, let me even tell you something. You know, I've been finding it very hard to believe that somebody like you will be attracted to a village girl like me. Yeah? To just tell that you want to marry me. How? Oscar, tell me. What do you really want from me? Do you want to steal my knowledge so you can use it and, and look for a permanent cure for Uma Joku? What? Why would you say that? Oscar, swear. Swear is not what you are looking from me. Swear it. I cross my heart. It's far from that. Hmm. Because my, my grandma used to tell me that men are very cunning, you know. 
and they can lie to any woman just to get what they are looking from that person. Between your wife and my grandma's own, I will choose her own. No. Yes, so. Uh -huh. Until you convince me otherwise. And that is even after we, we are married. Oh. Asa, you don't trust me? Hey, Oscar is talking about trust. Oscar, tell me the truth. If you are in my shoe, will you trust me? No, answer it. You don't want to say anything. Okay. I take your silence as yes. Oh, we are on the here. Because nobody that will be in my situation will want to trust you. Uh -huh. It's exactly the same thing I am saying here. She is so smart and compassionate. She is easygoing, despite her funny local ways. I'm really learning lots of interesting things about her since I arrived here. Very interesting qualities. But I wish she is more educated. I wish she had a better social class. I wish... Oscar, hmm? again, the food is in the plate, oh, not on me, oh. Ha. Yeah, I... I was just... How do you mean Oscar left the house? Is that a joke or something? I'm dead serious, Jim. He had a little clash with our parents over one village herbalist he brought to the house to introduce to us as his fiancée. Then he left in anger. Oh no, Oscar. You can't be that silly. What in God's name is, where did he go? I don't know. No one knows. As we speak, his phones are switched off. Jim, I have been lying to our parents that Oscar calls me regularly and that he's doing okay. I do not just want our mom's blood pressure to spike up all over again. She's been worrying for him so much. I do not know how long I'm going to keep up with this lie. Please, Jim. Do you have any idea where Oscar could be? If he's nowhere to be found in the city, as you said, then he is with the, 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 the herbalist girl in her village. Yes. I think so, too. But Oscar was the only one who knows where she stays. Nobody in this house knows her place. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Well, I, I think um, Zion will have some idea. You know, the girl is from her village. She went out to pick some stuff. I'll ask her when she comes back, then I'll get back to you. Really? Thank you so much. That would be very much appreciated, Jim. I can't wait to get to him and... And Eve? How is she taking it? Eve is not even aware. She and Oscar had... God, let this nonsense from Oscar end today as the witch Sally recommended to me said it would. She said that once I hug his mom, dad and sister, Wearing the charm he gave me on my waist, they'll never let him rest until he agrees to marry me. He too will never be able to say no to them once they are possessed by the charm. The family will beg me on their knees for as long as I want to keep them begging before I decide to forgive his insults and agree to marry him. God knows. God knows that I will stress all of them to hell before doing that if this works. God knows that I will. <laughs> Who is this? 
Hello. Hello, Eve. Yeah, it's me, Jim. Hi, Jim. How are you? How's your honeymoon in Italy going? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, Eve, please, when was the last time you spoke with Otka? Eve? Mm -hmm. Jim, um, it's, it's, it's been a while, I, I'd say. We, we had issues and... You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Um, I, I was about leaving for their place before your call came in. And I promise you that when I get to his place, I do my best to resolve the issue between us. Oscar is not in their house now, Eve. He moved out since last week and no one in their house knows his whereabouts as we speak. Shut up. Are you kidding? You're joking, aren't you? I am not, Eve. I am not. I just got off the phone with Nelly before calling you. Yeah, I called her because Oscar's phone has been switched off since last week and Nelly confirmed that he switched, he deliberately switched off his phone after leaving the house. What? Oscar is... Oh my god, J Jim, Jim, Oscar is your best friend, your childhood friend. Surely you, you must have an idea where he could be, right? Um, so Nelly said you are not aware of what I'm about to tell you. And I will advise you to be calm about and do what I want to suggest to you to help you save your relationship with Oscar. And, Good afternoon, Ma. Good day, my daughter. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Ma. Okay. Please, Ma, I am looking for one um, herbalist called Asa. I need her help urgently. Asa? Yes, Ma. <laughs> you are lucky. <laughs> Asa, uh, the one you are looking for, is my granddaughter. Really? Yes. Thank God. Finally. Please, can you just... Come into the car, so you take me to where she is, please. Yes. Oh, no problem. I just need her help, ma. Uh, yes. Okay. Through this, uh, <laughs> through this very just, fine. Order. Okay, go around. Go around the car. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Ma. Do I come and help you? <laughs> I will manage. Okay, mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little steps, please. Okay. You can enter through this place. Uh, yes. yes, yes, you can. Uh, yes, not ma. the front. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Since you are, you are complaining, <laughs> okay. it's okay, ma. Okay, better. Thank you, my daughter. Careful, ma. Hey, thank you. Hold it right there. Zip it. Oscar. Huh? How dare you! Do you know each other before? Who yes. is she, Asa? Uh, she's Oscar's uh, sister. Yeah. Oscar's sister? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. But she didn't tell me that before now. Where did you meet her? On my way back. Yeah. Hey. Why is she that angry on seeing him? Angry? Hey. I thought he, he said that he, his parents, they approved his he coming to spend some time with you. Ah, Grandma, I'm as surprised as you are. 
Okay, let me go and know why. Hey, 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 what's up? No, you don't do that. Let them have their private moments first. Hey, you don't know what they are saying. Mm. What are you doing here? How did you find your way to this place? Now listen, if you dare bring mom and dad to this place, I Don't will not to... you dare, Oscar. Don't you dare threaten me. Look at yourself. Are you happy living in this godforsaken shithole looking like a lost vagabond? Are you? Oh yes, I am happy. As a matter of fact, I am very happy, Nelly. I don't care what you or anyone thinks about me. And everyone else in the family should go to hell for all you care. Look me in the face, Oscar, and repeat what you just said. Oscar, mom is sick. Her blood pressure problem has resurfaced. No thanks to you and your drama queen. Oh, please. Just take us out of this. She's innocent in all of this, please. All I want you to do is to help me talk to mom to stop To wh stop what, Oscar? To stop what? To stop worrying about our only son who left the house and has not even called for more than Okay. Oscar. How do you even cope in this place? How do you? Do I look like I'm suffering? Asa and her grandmother are taking very good care of me. As a matter of fact, this whole thing looks like an exotic vacation for me. I mean, I love the nature. When all of this is over, I promise you, I'm going to bring the whole family here to spend some week's holidays in this place. It's so soothing and peaceful, the nature. You can see the trees, oh, the food, the people around. It's peaceful, sis, I promise you. Everyone misses you in the house. Dad misses your presence. Please, Oscar. Just go get your luggage. Let's let's just leave this place, please. If you really want to see me back home, like the way it used to be, you know exactly what to do. You know the best way to convince our parents. Help me talk to them. Make them see reasons with me. That's all. And before you say Jack, I will be back home. Like the way we used to be, you know? Talk to them. Mama, I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you the real reason I came to see your granddaughter, Asa. It's okay. I understand. How are your parents? They are fine. And thank you for taking good care of my brother here. Thank you, Asa. Well, um, I really have to go now. All right. One bye bye. Greet your mama and papa for me. I will. Before I leave, hope he has not been <laughs> very naughty because it can be naughty at times, you know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> not at all, no. <laughs> Oscar is a very, uh, he's a good gentleman. In fact, since I met him, eh? Oscar has been like a big brother to me. He gives me that uh, big brother company. Okay, <laughs> mommy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's all right. It's nice. I'll go, I'll take my leave now. Bye bye. Okay. Mama, let me all right. Go. Greet your parents. Eh? I will. I will. <laughs> of course. <laughs> After that, he seemed to suddenly realize the depth of his implication of his decision on the family. 
especially your health. He practically begged me on his knees to help him apologize to you and dad and to tell you that he loves you dearly and that he misses home. When is Oscar and Rufus' madness and falling back home? That is the only piece of news that will mean now and nothing else. Mom, I'm sorry, but Oscar is not coming back until you and dad give your consent to him to marry Asa. So, after hearing all this from him, you still went ahead to play nice to the idiot and her grandmother before leaving, as you said he begged you to? Now come, Nelly, are you for your dad and I? Oh, for Oscar. But mom, there are no two fractions in this family to warrant such a question from you, please. There is no fraction? None? Now, where is your brother? When was the last he saw his parents and spoken to them? Mom, I think it's high time you knew the truth. About? Oscar does not love that girl. But he's just scared of telling you and dad because of your stance on divorce as Catholics. <laughs> D divorce? I, I don't get what you're talking about. <sighs> Mother, Asa has the final answers to the puzzle of Oscar's research. The very thing that has stalled his research for over a year now. Yes. Everything Asa knows about herbs was taught to her by her late grandfather, who was a great herbalist. But he died a few years ago. According to her, he appears to her in her dreams and updates her knowledge about herbal medicines. And he has also promised to reveal to her the cure to asthma. Oscar is just patiently waiting to get that information from her as soon as he reveals it. But there is a problem. Her grandfather warned her never to share anything he teaches her with any one except her lawfully wedded husband. And he also told her that she is not to leave her house in the village to anywhere else except to the house of her lawfully wedded husband. It was after so much consideration that Oscar decided to marry someone like her. Mom, Oscar just wants to get this information, complete his research, then divorce her. It is all about the research and the potential to become a billionaire in US dollars. That is the truth, nothing else. Mary. So, Oscar cooked up this elaborate lies and told you to... Mom, I swear, it's not a lie. It's not. So, why didn't you tell me this all this while? You mean you're not angry about such deceit and 
I will care along on the behave I'll see if nothing happens and no idea about the whole deal for the peace of my family and that of my son's sake. I'll forget my feelings about the whole thing. But what about that? Leave your father to me. I will handle him. Really? I will handle him. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yourself. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Your people will come and hold me. Stop Can't now. That's that. what I'm doing. Uh, can you pan more than me? Oscar, eh? it's not like that, oh. How? Eh? How else am I? You're not pounding it well. You're delaying my cooking. Uh, who says I'm not pounding it well? Wait. Can you pan more than me? Look at my muscle. Look, look at your own. Who pound this for? It's, it's me. Eh? I don't want can... your people to come and say I'm suffering you here. Stop. <laughs> okay. It's not easy, though. Oscar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Stop. What is wrong with you? Stop. Stop. Oscar, you are forming stubborn for Apple. <laughs> eh? Give me. Wait. Oh, oh I, I don't Oscar. like this. I, I... No, no. Give me now. You can pound. Who says I cannot pound? Does it don't look like I'm suffering you here. Oscar, what is it? Leave. I will bite you. Give it with me. Give Leave it to it. me now. Leave it. Let you me will follow. You will fall. Uh -uh. Wait. You will fall. Leave. Let me go and cut you my pound. What is, what is your problem? Okay. 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 What is it? It's Oscar. Huh? What, what is wrong with you guys? Mama, what is going on with this guy? It's Oscar. Tell Oscar to give me the piece. Let me pound the bed. Tell her to allow me to pound. Yes. Let him do, do, do it. Let him do it. Leave it. Uh -uh. Find what? Leave it. Let, it, let him do it. Anyhow. Leave uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. Give it. I won. What's your you problem? Go and put fire. That's in your car, sir. That's in your car. Allow me to pound you. You'll be dragging the... the, the. Come, you put it down. Allow me to see. Like to see. To see. To follow. Mama, follow. don't worry. Don't see. worry. I'm not going to see. Follow, follow, follow seed in this thing. Uh -huh. Hey, hey. Come on, put fire. Put fire. Put fire. It's just that it's delayed. Hey. 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 Put fire. Put fire. Mama, I'm going to put fire. I'm going to put fire. I'm going to put fire. Hey. 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 Hmm? I, I hope that the, there is no seed in that. Hmm? What is it? We are here, man. That is my colleague talking with the magician. Please, can you come with me? Wait. Who are those poor things over there? The girl is the child of the woman killed alongside with your husband and his brother. And the other lady is her grandmother. Would you like to meet them? No, 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 officer. In what? fact, I want all of them out of here right now. Why would you? Officers, we came to see the corpses of our own. And we do not want the drama from these poor folks over here while doing so. Now, pursue them out of this place. I'll give you 500,000 Naira to do so. You heard her, officer? Get it done immediately or the offer will be withdrawn. Please, don't withdraw it. I will do that immediately. Officer, let's go. Hey, move it, 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 move
Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Officer, where are you? Move it. Don't push it here. Move it. 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 What? What is going on? What's going ah. What? Oscar! 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 Who is she? I said it's not me that told her, Oscar. Eve has neither come to this house nor spoken with anyone since the last time she came and got embarrassed by you. She was so angry, according to her mom, who later called from America. Yes, she said she was neither going to talk to any one of us ever again unless you apologize and promise never to repeat what happened again. Isn't it obvious who told her? Same person who told me, of course. Oscar. Jim and Zion could just be out to help. Shit. Phone is. Sweetheart, please. Please. I don't want to die of heart attack. You heard the doctor saying that I run a high risk of having a big one if I don't stop thinking the way I'm doing since Oscar left the house. Please say this so. Please, I'm on my knees. Please, 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 please. God, God. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm considering this because of you. You will? Just because of you. Oh, darling, thank you. Just tell me what you want to eat when I leave. What kind of sick place is this? What, what a sick hey! place! My people! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Please! Come inside! Hey! Hey! This is why you people came to my house today. I am going to retaliate for that special important one you people gave me the other day in your house. See? Eh? My uncle is the best pan wine tapper in this village. He makes the best type of wine. I'll go to him now and get the best for you. I'm on Nelly. When I'm coming back, I will buy you roasted yam and uh, papa. Some special fruits. That is my own. Uh, no, I will put them together as my own combination and uh, bombardment. Asa's special style of salad. He will enjoy it. You love it. <laughs> <laughs> Come inside, let's go inside. Um, um, let's go inside. Thank you so much for your fruit and roasted yam combination bombardment offer. Whatever that is, it can wait. Okay? Uh, um, please, uh, please, and the palm wine, that can equally wait. You love uh, it though? No, but wh where is my son Oscar? Please, yes. call him for us. Oscar! <laughs> Excuse me? You mean you, you, you forced my son no. to come for food for you? <laughs> Did you hear that? It's okay, I said, yeah. 
Um, where's Oscar? We went together to the forest to get some herbs for the medicine we want to prepare for someone. He stayed back to wash them at the village stream. Why I decided to come and prepare our meal. He will soon be back. <laughs> come inside now. Oh, oh my word. Oscar, he's here. Stop. Okay, he's here. Son. Oscar. What? What? What are you doing with this? Come on, bring them down. Come on. How on earth are you looking this dirty? What has come over you? I don't know why you people came, but if you're here to continue with the shouting and preaching, just know that it will not work. Excuse me? Don't waste your time, Mom. Welcome. Go inside and pack your things. Let us go home, please. Not without Asa as my wife. Hmm? Hmm? Darling? What has come over him? Why is he behaving this way? I, I don't understand. Oscar. No, no, no. Tell me. Hmm? What did you do to my son? What did you give him to eat? Answer me. I am talking to you. You promised not to show them. Why? Oscar, I was able to convince mom. And she convinced dad too. Listen. They both know the full plan. And they are ready to play along. So go get your things. Let's go back home and plan your wedding as a family. I don't trust you one bit. I'm not leaving here until all the marital rights are completed. Okay? Meaning... You want to marry a woman in our own house and from our own house? Where has such ever happened in Africa? I don't care what it is and what is not African at this point, okay? And as for Asa and my research, you already know I'm ready to break all rules and conventions just to get what I want. Honestly, Oscar, you are not sounding like the person I know right now. Where is my intelligent and ever rational brother gone to? What is really going on, Oscar? Don't you trust me? Trust and obey. There's no other way to be happy in Jesus. We trust us. If you want me to marry you, huh? you go with them. If you refuse, I will not marry you again. To miss you and Mama. I we will miss you more. I have to yes. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe you. You are a very wonderful person. You know, since you have come here to stay with us, you are a nice person. Yes, exactly. Okay. See, promise me oh, that you must return next week for the marital rights. Eh? I've known my parents all my life, and I've never seen them fail to keep to their words. Mm. Yes. I promise we are going to come. <laughs> okay. We'll be waiting. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> they will come. It's okay. 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 Hey, Mama. God bless you. 
I miss you, Mama. I miss you too. Go well, oh. <laughs> okay. I must say well. Keep something for you next time. So in, in that part, why you must drink it too next time. I will try. Okay. I will say my own. Ask her why buy you know. Why you know? It's your mama. Why you why you that one loser? Hey, thank God. Yeah? Hey. Mama. Yeah? Why are you thanking God now? Ah, nice family. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know you'll be happy with them. I can feel it. Ha. Yes. What are you feeling again? Let's go and do the remaining talk inside. That's the one we discuss outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go in. Hey. Hey, hey. Are you really sure she's the one you saw, Eve? Mom, if I mistook her, will I also mistake her grandma? I saw two of them together. She's the one propping up from nowhere, messing up my plans and this close to taking Oscar away from me. What game is the masters of fate trying to play with us here? Mom, I don't care whatever game the master of fate is playing. This has to end now and on my own terms. Yes, it must. I supported the assassination of my husband because he was careless enough to have shared his plans for Asa once she joins us in this family after learning of her existence from her mother with me. Mm. I should have agreed with you to go ahead and send other goons after her to kill her and end everything about her once and for all after she survived the heat. We may never know what is pushing her into our space all over again, but this time for daring to show herself again, I swear there will be no escape for her this time, my dear. No. Should I call the assassins? No, no. No open bloodshed this time around. We'll go spiritual. I already called one of the most powerful mystic gurus in the country. We'll go see him tomorrow. Mm. Come on. Come down. Asa is just an ant fighting two elephants in us in this situation. She will be crushed mm. before she knew who is after her or what hate her. Oscar and the proceeds of his research are already yours. I mean, us together. Trust me. I trust you, Mom. <laughs> That's my girl. Welcome back. You're missing her, right? I think I am. She's intelligent in her own way. Far more intelligent than her silly and funny ways. 
make people who are not close to her give her credit for. Hmm. Sounds more like you're falling or are falling for her. Excuse me. I didn't mean any harm. Well, <laughs> that asked me to call you. to family apologize for uh, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. There is no need for you to apologize. As a matter of fact, uh, we now have the full picture and we are in agreement with it. I called you here for us to discuss your wedding in earnest. I mean, we need to plan for it now. I have decided that uh, your traditional marital rights, including the wedding, uh, should take place the same day. So how do you want us to go about it? I did that. that you're joking, right? No, it's not. You see, um, Nelly was not lying to you as you thought. We've dialogued about this and um, we came to the conclusion that the potentials she's bringing to your research are what all the inconveniences to put up with someone like that. Exactly. With her queer character. We've also decided that having a grandchild with her and the process would be acceptable by your dad and I. Me. Oscar Ibikwe. <laughs> Come on, Mom. I can't even imagine myself getting intimate with that. Uh, um, Oscar, let us leave that aspect for now. I am aware that you are quite conversant with um, the class difference between you and her. But trust me, son, when the chips are down, <laughs> There is that aspect of man that does not recognize or respect class difference. Trust me when I say so. So for now, let us concentrate on the planning for your wedding and let's forget that aspect of what happens between when you get married and when you get what you want from her and terminate the marriage for now. So son, how do you want the wedding? So what is it? Why are you like this? Eh? Grandma. Eh? What if Oscar doesn't come back again? Asa. Oscar will come back. And he will come and marry you just as he said. Yes. Are, are you sure? What if his people were just lying to us to take him back to the city and then introduce a rich girl, a rich city girl to him there so he can marry her? Asa. Asa. The family that I saw here earlier today, they are decent family. As for Oscar, when he came up with the idea of marrying you, he has other ideas in his mind, as we suspected. But as time goes on, he's coming here to spend time with you, made a deep impact on him. 
by herself that is fighting with something in him. Yes. Huh. Fighting with something in him. Yes, my daughter. And whatever that is fighting with is bigger than his will. It is only fate that will decide the result of the fight. Asa, what did I tell you that the seer called you the day you were born? Child of destiny, child of fate. Right. Where fate and destiny is involved. Have you ever failed? I, I haven't told. Good. But come on, this one does not have anything to do with it. Asa! Fate and destiny are involved in this case. Yes. Leave your worries to your destiny. Let's go inside. Let's go and sleep. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay. Let's go. Hmm? Uh -huh. Let me get the... It's Asa, right? What? Why didn't you knock? <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't. Please forgive my manners. Well, bro, if you ever think that this is more than what it is, you can count on my full support. Well... Yes, <laughs> I admit, I was actually thinking about her, but there's nothing more than reminiscing over her silly jokes and, you know, how it was <laughs> back there. Reminiscing, you called it. Okay, if you say so. Henceforth, hmm? keep an open mind about you and her. Listen, bro. There is no crude manner a further education cannot refine. There is no class the right association cannot change. If she's as intelligent and detailed as you once told me that she is, then I will say half the problem is solved. Her crude manners, half education, social class problems. So, anyways, it's your call. Thank God you know it's my call at the end. So, you're here for? I came to get your phone. I need to call my fiance. What about your phone? Battery round down we're talking, please. Can I get your phone? Yeah, thank you. Keep reminiscing. I'm gonna make my calls. <laughs> I 
She is a child of destiny. I don't get it, Gozi. Her destiny saved her the last time you made an attempt on her life. It will go to any length to defend her if you try again, physically or spiritually. This time, they might not just defend her, but could put up a fierce fight for her sake. Let her be, unless you are ready to battle with her destiny. Listen, Mr. Kuro. I don't care one bit about the implication of this destiny gibberish you just uttered. What I care about is for that girl to be dead. Dead and out of Oscar's life for good. Period. Dead that control the affairs of the sacred chamber. It's careless tongue, young lady. Lose control of yours one more time here. And they will strike you with leprosy instantly. Please, Guru. Please forgive her. <laughs> her destiny protects Oscar as well. What? That can't... Let her and Oscar be. But if you insist on taking her on, find a way to separate them first, or you will lose everything to her in the end. Yes, it will take his destiny for her own to fully unravel. They are destined to become billionaires together. His research is theirs together. The elements will let you keep what you currently have if you let them be. But if you insist on taking Oscar and the proceeds of our research from her, now or later, then prepare to lose even what you have now to them at the end. The choice is yours. But Guru, is there no other... There is nothing any human or spirit can do to change the fact. As the spirits have stated them, be warned, let them be. What Guru? Let's go, let's go. This is not over until I have my way. One, two, three spiritualists we went to, after leaving the Guru's place, confirmed what he said with almost the same words, Eve. Can't you say it? See what? That is too dangerous to. Dangerous? Maybe because you trusted some unreliable spiritual liars and fear mongers to handle a situation that our brains could have tackled head on with some great thinking and planning. Enough of your bullshit, mommy. Enough. I will never give up on Oscar and the monetary potentials of his research, especially when it means giving him up to that lousy, dirty lout of a girl. For God's sake, Eve, you don't love Oscar. You never did. Forget about his research and what its success means. Come on, girl. You are already a multi-billionaire through your inheritance. Yes. What else do you want? You just let the sleeping dog lie. I should let the sleeping dog lie? Yeah. Um, Uncle Sekibo's corpse mysteriously disappeared from the mortuary where he was kept with that three days after he was kept there. Till today, tens of millions of naira have been spent by the family to find his cups, yet we haven't found it. Or have we? All the spiritualists we visited were asked questions about it and all said nothing. 
Doesn't that tell you all you need to know about it? If they couldn't tell us the whereabouts of these cops, how are we sure that they haven't lied about everything? How are we sure that they didn't lie about Oscar and that girl? In fact, how do we know if the same affair that made us kill daddy has been conclusively taken care of and his wealth entirely ours forever? Mom? Solve the Sekibo cop's disappearance mystery. And I promise to leave Oscar, his research and its findings. That girl, I'll leave all of them alone. Solve it now or enough, Eve. You will leave that girl alone. You will never see Oscar again. You will never talk about his research in this house ever again. What? It's an order, Eve. And don't you dare flout it. Or you will clash badly with the devil in me. And if you think you're crazy, I am a lunatic asylum on two legs. Don't dare me with this. Nonsense. Mom. Mom. No, 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 no. No, I can't make it now. I'm kind of busy. Yes. I can't lie to you. What did you just do to me? Yes, it's what I did to you. I gave you a lethal injection, mommy. Mom, relax. It's a deadly one, relax. Your heart will explode in less than a minute inside of you. Relax. <laughs> you left me absolutely no other choice but this bloody one. So rest in peace, because I will never give up on Oscar. And I will ensure Asa never leaves. I love you. These are the statements I got from the documents he signs online. After hacking through different sites with them. Confirm, please. Excellent job. Perfect. You're a genius indeed. And the person who recommended you is very right. I am meticulous in my work. Mm -hmm. Which do I use, please? Any of it. Any of it. Okay, done. This is the part of it. The hard part now is forging the signature with a pen on the same document. I have over 20 copies of the signature page of the same document. Keep on forging. I'll use the one that's the closest match to it. Okay. Um, the pen.
Come on, man. We've discussed this before. Don't be a dumb skull. Exactly. That's the way I want it. No addition, no subtraction. Thank you. Please, I'm counting on you. Gosh. The decoration guy is asking me about my preferred colors as if we never discussed about it before. See, so yeah, if he messes. Oh, mom. Look at you, okay. We've sorted it already. I've told him the way you wanted my wedding reception to look. All right? Ladies and weddings. No. Moms and weddings. No. Moms and our children wedding. After all, it's going to be my day, and I... Oh, hello. You had yours 34 years ago. This one is for Oscar and Asa. Not this story again. Well, who's going to be the mother of the day? That's my mama. So, what are we That's talking my mama. about? <laughs> I give up. I'm so, John, I surrender. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's why are you looking so scared? Oscar, what in the name of common sense is the meaning of this? What is this? What do you mean? What is this? How could you sign such document? Where you go on there scared or something? What, what's going on? What's going on? I mean, what what document are you talking about? Where did you get this? Eve gave it to me some minutes ago. Did you sign this, Oscar? I will not. What's going on? What is going on? I mean, which document are you talking about? Document showing that Oscar's research is being bankrupt by Ian Cameron Edwards with an express agreement showing that the patent card belongs to 100%. What? Hey, yeah. Oscar! I never signed such agreement with Eve. I never had any discussion with her. I don't know where this is coming from. I know nothing about this. I swear to God. Then how come this documented agreement? I don't know. I know nothing about this. I swear with everything I believe in. I know nothing about this. But Oscar, you are, you, your signature is here. Exactly. Your signature is here. What have you done? If, if Asa hears of this, she will not only call off my wedding, but pull off in any form of cooperation in my research. That which is obviously frustrating me for leaving her. How can, how can she come up with this few hours to my wedding? How? How dare? Oh, look who decided to show up with the gang. Mm, you finally showed your face. After blatantly refused to come condole with me on the death of my mother. According to your family, you had a must-keep appointment with your village herbalist girlfriend and her people in her stinking village. My welcome. How dare you, Eve? I don't know what you're talking about, boy. What's the meaning of this? Ah, the document. Why are you asking me about the document? I mean, wasn't it you, sweetheart, that willingly authored and signed it over to moi? Did you forget or are you acting up? <clears throat> Is this what it's all about? What what is all about? I didn't have a choice but to make this public so that Asa could know about it. Didn't you think she deserved to have knowledge of it? Yeah, I didn't think so? Because I thought so. As we speak, a copy of this is on its way to her. In the relative's house where they are putting up while they are with your wedding. <laughs> you mean this? Are you shocked? Well, 
She sent it to me that she sees nothing wrong with it, even if I signed it. Her grandfather appeared to her in her dream and told her what to do with the document when she gets it. Now you see, even the spirits are against you and your evil scheme. So I will advise you back off for your own road. Nice try, boy. Go home and finish that research so you can hand me my patent rights, as agreed. Go on, boy, get it over and done with. If you delay three more weeks, I will sue your fucking ass for two billion dollars damages. You hear that? He better give me my patent right. This, of course, is um, negotiable under a condition. You want to know? You're going to love it. The condition is that you call off your engagement, that you announce our engagement and call up that damn wedding with Asa. Eve? What? What? I'm being nice. I mean, y'all should know that after all this pretty boy has done to me, I still love him. Love? Obsession, Eve? No. That's what it is. No. It's always been like that. <laughs> you. And unlike those with us here, I was never fooled from day one. Thanks, though. Thank you for finally having the girls to come clean on what your crazy obsession with me is all about. <laughs> Thank you for unraveling your despicable self to my family and friends. Now, if you really think that I will fall for your crazy stunts and crazy demands without a fight, then you must be raving mad. <laughs> Whatever you have with me and this your criminal document, bring it on, Eve. You can call the police, involve the law enforcement agencies, involve the court of law. I am going to fight you to hellfire and back, and I will prevail. Now, for a start, you're invited for my wedding. Marco. If I were you guys, I'd go after him and take senses from Jesus before he self instructs me. You're miserable. Very pathetic. And he's so loser at that. Ah, no, baby. I'm utterly disappointing, Eve. Yeah, it's expected. Bye bye, guys. Sorry I didn't offer you any drink, but you can share mine. Fucking bastards. <laughs> Why did we get here before them now? We followed short cut. Okay. 
Okay. It's because I am looking for my grandma. Hey. My son is married. So a clown. Carry Dubem and cover myself. Is Duve not Dubem? Oh, I still the same thing. <laughs> and sorry, won't you take off your wedding dress? Hey, <laughs> you see this ring there? Yeah? It's very beautiful. Look at this shiny, shiny on it. And I like this one. See this one? Yeah. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for choosing it for me. Um, sorry. Uh, don't you think it's high time you stopped addressing me with those local names and, you know, call me modern names, sweet names like Honey. Hey, hey, it's Honey that I'll be calling you. Honey is good, though. Eh? But you know, I'll call it in Igbo language. Manango. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm No, Manango Matoka. It's very sweet. You don't like it. You don't like me to be calling you Manamu. Ha! Hey, Manamu me sign and see you though. Hope I can get that for you. Let me even ask you. When are we going for that? Uh, that's it. Uh, hey. Okay. Honey day. Oh. From, you know, married. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not honey day. It's honeymoon. Anyone is good, so long there is honey there. I can't wait to go with you. <laughs> I got it, Papa. We'll go next week. Eh? Hey. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you have to shift. Let me carry the do it. Because you see this thing, eh? I am sleeping like this. No, no, no. You can't possibly sleep like this. Come on. Manamu. You have to take off. Manamu. Your... Allow me to sleep like this. Oh. <laughs> It's a part of your space here. <laughs> Help me. Okay, let me arrange it for you. So it doesn't cover your, your space. Honey, you don't get it, right? You can't possibly sleep like this. And I'm not complaining, you know. Is it not my wedding dress? Or I'll just wear it like that and let it go. No, I sleep with it. I wake up with it. <laughs> it's part of the money you paid. It's too much. Thank you for agreeing to work for me again. I work for anyone that can pay. My condolences on your mother's death. Thank you. You didn't come with your guys? Not necessary. Details, please. Asa's grandma. I want you and your guys to wait for her in her compound. She'll be returning in three days. How do you want her killed? I don't want her killed. I want her kidnapped. <laughs> we don't do kidnapping jobs. We don't. Even when the fee is 10 million naira? 
What? Are you joking? Kidnap her and demand a ransom fee of 500 million naira, or you kill her. <coughs> Does her husband have such amount of money to part with? He and his entire family do not even have one quarter of that amount of money. But not to worry. I have a script that will play out the moment you kidnap her. So, kidnap her, make your demand, and leave the rest to me. Deal? With 10 million there, you should know what my answer will be, don't you? Very well then. Your money, part payment of your money, will be dropped for you at the same spot where we dropped it for you the last time. When the job has been successfully executed, you'll get the balance at the same spot. All right. Deal. Deal. Are, are you still insisting on, on going to bed like this? Hey, yo. Mm. Mm. Hey, yo, you have to take off your wedding I dress. I am wearing it all. I told you. I have to wear it. Because if I don't wear it, how will I remember a memorable day like this? Eh? This wedding gown is expensive. Oh. I have to wear it throughout every day. Hey, who told you that the only way you can remember your wedding day is wearing your wedding dress to bed? I don't know. This is my own way. Eh? Malangum, allow me to do this my way now. Eh? Aji, eh? See, you cannot sleep with this. All right? Are you not sweating? Hmm. If you're not sweating, I'm sweating on your behalf. You have to take this out now. I am not sweating. I am even catching cold here. Hmm? Can you not see I'm using the pillow to support myself? I'm not sweat. Because good night. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oscar. Oscar is a big problem. Hmm? Hmm? No, no. What did he say? Hmm? I wasn't talking to you. I wasn't uh, talking to you. Oh, well, good night. Catch you for. Oh. For you, I go be mumu. That's my shop. Anyone who come to separate us, I'm gonna fire them. For you, I go be mumu. That's my shop. Anyone who come to separate us, I'm gonna fire them. Asa, eh? You're still putting on your wedding gown. Ha! It is called a memory building. Asa style. You know when I was in the village, eh? I told myself that if I finally get married, eh, I will wear my wedding gown until I am tired of wearing it. I see. Uh -huh. But please, you need to go and remove it. It doesn't make any sense. Besides, <gasps> it must be smelling with it. It can smell like Mama Kate's fufu in my village. I don't care. God forbid. Hi. That woman's fufu can smell, eh? The type of smell that oozes out from that woman's food can even make uh, angels of God to disobey God if God asks them to pay her a visit when she's eating it or pounding it. Hi! To fear what? 
listen, I know, I know how you are feeling, but let me tell you something. I promised myself that I would differentiate myself from all those girls that get married after losing their virginity. They are always in a hurry to take off their wedding gown so that uh, their former boyfriends will not see it and go and report them to uh, father. So, I am not like them. Asa, hmm? I beg you with whatever you hold dear, go and remove your wedding gown first. Hmm? Yes. Hmm. Not yet, Nedim. I have not even worn it uh, uh, half of the money you people uh, bought it with. Uh, now, I came to ask you what I will make for breakfast. Oscar told me that you and Nadim like uh, pounded yam. And I can pound very well. Oh. Pounded yam? <laughs> this early? It's a food. Please, something light will do. Now remember, always remember, when it comes to breakfast, something light will always do for breakfast. Hmm? And then we'll be in the kitchen to direct you accordingly. Mm, please. Please. Huh? Remove the wedding gown before going to the kitchen. This wedding gown is not negotiable. I have told you, not yet. Oh, something light, you said? Yes, something light. Hello, Hello baby. Hello. Hello, sweetie. The mother went to the door, the love it was a glass. Oscar, oh, you really honey. got yourself oh, your, a wife. Oh, no sugar. No matter what in the do, they know we try separate us. No problem when it comes to that. So please, we're here to eat. Let Oscar handle the food from the Asa, you are still on your wedding dress. Ha! Nelly, I even plan on wearing it to escort my grandma to the village. So that all these enemies of progress in my village will see me and understand that Asa has now arrived. And I plan on staying one more day extra so I can use it to do a uh, parade the whole village so they will see me very, very well. And then I return back here, remove it, and then donate it to you for your own wedding. Huh? How do you see my plan? Asa, sorry. <laughs> my sweet sister. <laughs> you don't have to do that. See? Now that you're in the city, you have to behave like the city people. They say when you're in Rome, you have to behave like the Romans. Rome? Are we in Rome? <laughs> no, did this house fly and take all of us to Rome while we were sleeping? And nobody told me, not even my mana. Hi. Chai. <laughs> so Asa is now in Rome. And I didn't know. Nedim. Nelly. When are you people taking me to Pope's house? I want to see the man so I can tremble and bow before the old man. Uh, 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 Asa, please, please. Enough of this drama. Eh? Drop that food. Okay? And stop the drama. But, but we are not in Rome. And my house does not fly. I am sorry. I have even forgotten that I am carrying food. Oh. I've been talking all this while. It's the wrong thing. I'm confused. I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry. And uh, Asa, this is your wedding gown. I don't ever want to see you in it again after the. Don't even go there because I don't want to disrespect you. Eh, I don't want to disobey you at all. But if you insist, I will respectfully disobey you and then tell you sorry later. You what? Uh, you want to disobey my husband? No, mom. What is wrong with this girl? Huh? She practically insulted me. <laughs> she is your perfect daughter in law. The one Oscar wants to spend the rest of his life with. And the one that will always be with you in the kitchen. Not me. 
You know me with kitchen. Even my aid don't enter the kitchen when I go. Ha, <laughs> this one will. <laughs> Trust <Yes>. me. <laughs> He went to Jami. He went to do this. Oh, to the gym, you mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> that, that's not the reason I called you out here. Listen, please. Huh? You have to take this off eh? and put on something else. Why? No, tell me why. Asa. Why would I do it? Everybody in this compound. I've already seen you in it since yesterday. Uh -huh. But my village people have not seen me in it. I agree. If you want to go to the village and parade with it as you said, then it is fine. Listen, mm. instead of one day, you can even take one month wearing it, parading with it. And everybody in the village will now start respecting you very well. See, that is not all yet. You know me, Nelly, now. Mm -hmm. I will take permission from Oscar, even my parents, so that they will allow you to stay there one full month. Hey, yes. Nelly? Respect, 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 respect. You are beginning to talk what I want to hear <laughs> now. Hey. That is not all. Uh -huh. I have more for you. Okay. For the trip, uh -huh. I will give you police escort. Hi, Nelly. Nelly, you want me to make it now? Uh, in that case, I will use the police authority and make all the evil people in my village do frog job, frog job on their knees, and they will begin to cry like hungry babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whatever. They are not ready for me. Asa, it's Hi. you. Let's go and take it off. You will help me to keep it or even wash it. Now you are talking. Let's go. I know this one. This one uh, this is just flower. for decoration. <laughs> yeah, just for decoration. And this one looks like um, ukumpu in our village. Okay. It's for decoration and um, and waters it every morning so that yeah. it stay fresh, yes, and nice. Okay, you see this one. Yeah. This is where we all relax as a family. You can relax here alone, sip wine, you know, just chill up, enjoy the evening breeze. <laughs> you like Me, it, Asa? Cannot be using this place only for relaxing. Me, I'll be sleeping here because see, you get the uh, room and I'm uh, fallow. Sleep in bed. See, uh, no, 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 it's just one alone in a room on its own. No, you have you, you, all you need to do is just sit there, relax. Take one just for relaxing, not sleeping. Take notes, don't sleep there, please. <laughs> I can um, sleep there, I don't have any problem. No, 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 no. This one is a room on its own. <laughs> please don't sleep. <laughs> Asa, huh? have you used this before? No, what is this one? This one, ah, uh, ha! This one looks like Igbo Zuna. AJ Boomer can dot it. <laughs> no, coffee for Igbo, Igbo people's children. <gasps> Wait, did your father buy it in advance for his debt? <laughs> this one cannot contain him. He looks very small, and your father is big. Oh. It's for Igbo people's children. <laughs> Ha. You people don't buy everything already and keep here. This this has stopped the chat as I you're too funny. <laughs> Listen, this is not a coffin or a casket, okay? It's called a washing machine. Eh? Washing, washing machine. It is neither a casket or a coffin. You use it to wash your clothes. It helps wash your clothes effortlessly. But he does not have a hand. How can he wash it when he doesn't have a hand? Or oh, the hand is inside there. Is it hiding somewhere? Don't worry. I'll teach you how to use it. And probably you can start using it first with your wedding gown that you have here. I would like to learn it too. You know as I like to learn things like that. Right. Show me. Let me see the hand. Now. That's what I'm here for. Ha. Say. Okay. Now. First of all, uh -huh. you open this up. Okay, this is the mouth. <laughs> okay, whatever word you want to use for it. Okay. When you open it, uh -huh. don't forget, you have to separate the colored clothings 
from the white cloth. You know, this is white. So, so where is the hand now? You have shown me the mouth. <laughs> that is why it's a machine. It's inbuilt. Like there is no hand in it. Okay, the hand is inside already. Okay, yeah. Let's just say it's inside. Mm. <laughs> so you put your clothes inside. Mm. Make sure you also add a little bit of detergent. Mm. Then you close it up. You make sure there is water in it. Mm. Okay? Then you start to rotate the buttons. Don't worry, she's coming. Hey, I'm very, very sorry for the delay. I know you must be very, very hungry now. I did not know that fried rice is even harder to fry than curry. Huh? Never mind, the food is here now. That is the most important thing. What is this? Fried rice. This that looks like uh, children's feces. This one is not children's feces, so I fried it very well and I made sure it dried very well. It did boy, boy, boy like popcorn before I br brought it down. You will like it though. What? So you actually fried the, 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 the rice like, boy, like, boy, boy. Uh, like popcorn and gari combined. Eh? Lady Mu, that's the food, you will like it though. You have not tested it and you are doing first like this. Mm. Test it, you will like. Not the, if you test this food, eh, you will thank me later. Well, why don't you test it yourself? Why, hey! why, why? I tested it and it tested good in it my tested mouth. Good. Oh, yeah, test it, eat it. Test it in force. If you don't like it, I will go inside and fry another one for you. Hey! It's fried rice now. Okay. This one is very, it's well fried. Asa? Hmm? Get this out of this place. Look at the chicken you made. I've gone. It's chicken now. So this is how your grandmother cooks for the burial and the wedding that I would love to do again and again. You have not tasted the food yet and you are complaining. Eat it first. If you don't like it, I will fry another one for you. Oh, yo. Okay, why don't you test it? Menang. Please go and cover yourself. You're making me shy. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Why do I need to cover myself when I'm with my wife in my bedroom? Ma'am, please. Biko, I will pay my wife for now. Go and wear your clothes. Eh? You will lead us into temptation now. Please. Oh, please. I don't have time for this, your drama now. Come here. Hey! Madam, Keo! Biko, 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 hi. Obara, Obara, cover my eyes. Obara, cover my body. Obara, please cover me. Obara, cover me. Cover me from the Can you please stop? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Ah, Obara, cover me! Obara, cover me! Obara, Obara! This is, this is normal. I cover my eyes with Obara. I cover my eyes with Obara. I cover my eyes with Obara. I cover my eyes with blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, cover it or cleanse it. Asa, hey, what is it again? Nelly, Nelly, can you imagine your brother came out of the bathroom naked and jumped on the bed? He almost jumped on top of me, oh! What kind of temptation is that? You are such a drama queen. <laughs> How is it funny that somebody is tempting me? You are just too funny. He, but, Asa, the blood of Jesus. How can you say your that? husband wants to put you into temptation? Go and tell him now to dress well, oh! Let him cover his body. Yes, I will not sleep in that room with him tonight, oh. Asa. Uh, you are now husband and wife. The both of you are one and you need to share everything together. Nelly, just tell him, oh, it is not so soon. You take your time to know each other very well before you begin to do that one. Who sanctioned it that will be doing it like that by now? <laughs> eh? Asa. Uh, huh. Is that why you've been covering your eyes with the blood of Jesus? Is that not temptation coming to me? How can your husband put you into temptation? Ha! Huh. Hmm. Lenny? 
Go and tell that boy, your brother. Asa, what is your problem? Are you out of your mind? Follow me back to the bedroom now. The mama, you are shouting at me now, before your sister. I said, follow me back to the bedroom. The mama, I thought you said you loved me. That is why you married me. So you lied. Eh? You are shouting at me now. Eh? Well, come and carry my leg now. Come and carry my leg. As I'm talking to you. Come and carry my leg. Come and carry my leg. She will come, trust me. Go. Please. Asa. Oh, I'm still your friend, right? Mm hmm Listen. You are now husband and wife, eh? And the both of you need to share stuff together, including intimate things, if you catch my drift, eh? Please, go back to the room. Spend the night with your husband. Please. See, let me tell you one very secret though. Don't tell anybody. So do it with my fiancé. You enjoy it. It's fun. Eh? Just mm -hmm. go back to the room. Have I ever lied to you before? Mm -mm. You trust me? Mm -hmm. Go back to the room. I promise you, tomorrow you will thank me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just the way you just came um, out naked and, and, naked man. and jumped back yes, on the bed. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you staring at me like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I, I shouted at you. I promise I will not do that again. Promise? Okay, let's say to this thing once and for all. How many children do you want to have? Children? Mm -hmm. Because me, I want to have nine. Nine. Six will be twins. Nine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. This is, this is family we are talking about here. We are not talking about how to raise a football team. Oh, maybe Oscar and Sons Limited. D don't mind me. I'm just trying to be funny. So let's let's start first, okay? And then we'll see how many. Eh? Is it not start? Yeah. Start to what? Are you starting moto? Or oh, Jen? You have started though. Ha. Be copa. Ha. I told you you should not put us into temptation. You think I am lying. Think I am a mad woman. I know what I am saying though. Please, oh, go and cover yourself up, oh. Hmm. Because as I'm looking at you now, temptation is leaking all over your head and your body. Cover your face, your, your, your body. God. What have I put myself into? You have put yourself into temptation. It is you that puts yourself into temptation. Cover yourself well. You are telling me. Uh, what did you put yourself into? When I was covering myself with Obara, you thought I was mad. 
Please cover yourself. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. Good night. I saw him. Hey, where? Here. In your mouth? Uh, uh. Did, did you swallow him? My friend, please. Enough of this. You are too lousy for my liking. Don't be angry, yo. It's just that I have an important message for him. It is very important, though. This is an ancient Greek herb that is well known for its potency in asthma management. And this is from Calabar region, the rainforest in Calabar. It has similar qualities. You see, I have thought that the combination of this and this with. Hi, I have been searching for you since so. Hey, my goodness, why would you come out here with just a wrapper? Like what? This wrapper that I'm tying is it loose? I'm so... It's not loose now. I am tying it very well. See, I have been trying to send my grandma a message to tell her that I will not be escorting her to the village again as we agreed. Wasn't that what we agreed uh -huh, yesterday? Uh -huh. uh -huh. And as I was doing it though, I immediately I forgot how to spend uh, to start uh, to spell uh, levels. Eh? So I don't know whether to start with the first L or the second L. <laughs> My brother, don't, don't, you know this thing can just, be very just confusing. Just come this way. Let me tell you how to spell it. <laughs> it's very yes, confusing. Way, <laughs> yes, because my grandma will be waiting come for me. Yeah, let's find out here. <laughs> oh, let's oh. do this. What, what is wrong with you, Asa? Why would you come out like this to embarrass me in front of my visitor? Why are you shouting at me? Are you not the one that said I should stop hiding my body and start showing it to you? And I'm trying to do that. You are getting angry again. Go in and dress properly. No problem. I will go. Give me the spelling of levels now. Not until you're properly dressed. Here. Yeah. Sometimes I don't understand you. I don't know what you want to. Eh? Mm? Go through the kitchen door. And you are hearing the dog barking. You are telling me to go there. It's chained. I don't want the dog to bite me. Oh. It's caged. <laughs> Yeah, Jim, um, I'm sorry about that, please. Come on, bro, we don't have to be sorry, okay? Your wine has a free spirit. Look, just um, give her time. Okay, give her time, she'll change. And um, if you can get a private teacher to help her out, I mean, that would be nice. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate it. See, you and Nelly are the only people that don't make just about me with her. <laughs> Come on. Of course we understand what it's all about from day one, okay? We do. Look, just be patient with her. If you ask me though, I, I believe she would make a good wife. I mean, a great wife. If you can just figure out a way to... Uh, uh, bro, let me... 
go help her out with the test message. All right. All right. No problem. Okay. I'll be. I'll be right back. Right back. Thank you. Dollar in the hoop. Hey, Himela. Wait, let me get my my things. Thank you. Now, bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Carry out the operation. Eh? As we speak to you now, we are on our way out of the village. Bees attacked us as we are about adopting her from the house. You need to see our faces now. It... We should do what? Eh? We should return and carry out the operation. Never. Are you crazy? I said we are suffering in pains right now. Hello? Are you... What happened? I don't know. He said they were about to carry out the abduction when mysteriously bees attacked them. Be bees? I was still about to convince him to return and fulfill the assignment when they started screaming and, and, and poof, the lion went dead. Dead? As in they are dead? I don't know. Uh, um, um, at this point, Eve, I, 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 I must confess, okay? I am, I am scared. Okay? I am afraid. Yes. There is something about this Asa and her family that is, that is just so out of the ordinary. Okay? And, and, and to me... Hey! Jim! If you are hinting on quitting, I won't have it. Because I would never quit. Um, can, can you proceed without me? Yes, okay, because I'm done with this, your scheme. I'm done with it. Please, as for the five million you promised to give me if I help you achieve this, I don't need it, okay? I don't need it. Keep it. My life is what. Much more than that. Have a nice day. Jim. I will not tell anyone about what you're up to. I swear. But to continue with you in this, count me out. Stop. 
or good luck in achieving it alone, or with any other person that agrees to partner with you, I'm done. 15 million. Fine, Emilia. Come on, Jim. Is your friendship with Oscar what? 25 million naira? I'll make it 30 million naira. <laughs> hey! Did you enjoy it? Hey, madam. Nemunda. Hey, madam. Do you know my grandmother is a big fat liar? How? Do you know? Hey. It's not just my grandmother. Oh. It's all these reverend fathers, eh? All the preachers. All the pastors, including those ones that call themselves uh, Jehovah Witnesses, eh? Hi. They can lie, eh? They will not make heaven, I am sure of this. Because how can they call something as, as sweet as what he just did to me in a sin? Because it seems sweet. <laughs> eh? Okay, Do you know the thing was in me? Rico, Rico, in my friend. Oh. <laughs> You have killed me. Oh. Oh as soon as he has he started there, eh? hmm. you don't even know what you have shown me because when you want some pie, oh, you have to come back oh, again. Listen, mm -hmm. listen very well. Hmm? This is the second plant. The stem of this one and the leaves of the one I earlier showed you combine in the right quantity. We cure asthma completely. Hmm? We cure asthma completely. Never to return in the patients again. Listen again. Mm -hmm. And to figure it out, and to figure it out, what the right quantity, what do I say? The right that quantity mm -hmm. that will be given to the patients according to his or her condition. Hmm? Go and enjoy your life and your wedding. Is well with you. Thank you, Grandpa. You are welcome. Hmm? Now, listen again. Your distant time has come, and no one can stop it now. As I protected grandma, so will I protect you and your interest throughout your life. Hmm? Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hmm? Okay. I have not forgotten why I started this whole thing in the first place. All right. But I'm just... But what, Oscar? But what? Oscar, you had a plan. You had a plan. You didn't stoop to the embarrassing level of putting up with 
a local crude village girl like Asa for love. You didn't. Oscar, you said with your own mouth that you did it because of what you want to learn from her to enable you to complete your research. Oscar, you said as soon as that is done, I mean, as soon as you acquire the knowledge from her, you will divorce her and send her back to whatever stinking village she came from with nothing. Oscar, that was what you told us. That was what you told me, Nelly, and your parents. And we all gave you our consent only on that basis. Get it done with, Oscar. Get it done with and stop this whole, this whole drama before she infects everyone here with whatever village forest disease she's carrying about with her. You have no right to talk about my woman in that manner. I it's my life. Finished. Oscar, I have not finished. How dare you talk about my wife in that manner? You have no right. How dare you? Asa, are you still sleeping? Breakfast. Where is she? Asa? 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 On your baby, on your sweetie, no matter what they do, they know they try to separate us. On your honey, on your, uh, on your sugar, no matter what they do, they know they try to separate us. On your natural mattress in the morning. And what is going on here? <laughs> I want bone fat for my body, oh. Oh boy, I won't chop this food. Ball fat for my body. Sorry, which of the bone? Is it the B U R N or B O R N? Because what I'm looking here, you're about to give birth to fat. I just the start, so, and now I want the start and now. One bone fat. It's not say this life. Life, not the finish or love uh, when you uh, have uh, it. Please, please. It's, it's okay. Where, where is my wife? Where, where is Asa? Fear for the body. Small guy. I just see him. I didn't come up for this house like this. Boom. I asked him where they go. He know me, he no tell me anyway. No tell me anything, no. Just they come up for this house, they cry. Carry back. Boom, forget. What? Is that a joke? You saw my wife with a bag? Carry back now. No be B A O G, no be back. Black! The way they adjust the C M A, come up for this house. Boom! I can't remember us. My papa, wife, number seven. Wrong come out for house because he doesn't know what marry my papa again. Ah, the way they see him, man, in the serious like this. Uh, uh, um, he must be mad. Mad how? Oh, 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 girl, oh, oh, small girl, wait, oh, wait, I want to ask you something, no? Oh. I don't know. See, I, 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 I want to ask you whether now you carry, whether now you carry that woman from this house. Oh, that, that woman carry you from this house. Come wrong, come out, oh. Don't fire you. I fear you, no, kill no fear, no. I said, I'm sugar one. 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 It worked, Eve. It worked perfectly well. I engaged in such talks, and um, as you wanted it, Asa walked in on us. Okay, I saw her. I pretended I wasn't seeing her. Oscar didn't even know she was there. So I quickly said everything we agreed I was going to say to her hearing. Mm -hmm. Oscar reacted angrily, but um, before he did that, Asa had already left the room. <laughs> Objective already achieved. So I quickly um, apologized and uh, we made up. In fact, I was invited for a breakfast with his family. Mm. Yeah, he went up to call to call his wife, only to return with the report that uh, Asa was nowhere to be found. <laughs> As we speak, the family is in disarray. I mean, the family is completely disorganized. No one knows where she went. No one knows anything about her. Her phone switched off. It worked. Worked perfectly. She has left Oscar without getting the thing the very thing he married her for. 
There you go. <laughs> very good. This is mm. very good. So um, so um, now that the first phase of the scheme has been executed successfully, what next? <laughs> Asa is never coming back to that house ever again. So how would that help in the ultimate aim in all of this? Which is to become the sole owner of the patent right of the asthma and the uh, curative drug that Oscar is researching in. How? You and my lawyer told me that the forged agreement stands no chance when placed under expert scrutiny. <clears throat> hmm? And I completely agree with both of you. That was why I arranged the kidnap of Asa's grandma as a diversion. What I wanted to achieve was to kidnap Asa's grandma and then Asa will have no choice but to run back to the village and Oscar will end up not getting the knowledge that he sought from her. But you are aware how woefully that failed. That brought me to another grand plan. As we speak, I am in talks with an expert in the pharmaceutical research field who is willing to marry Asa as soon as possible. When he does, she will give him the knowledge when she gets it. And Oscar, Oscar will lose that completely because my guy will beat him to the research. <laughs> and I mean, uh, how would that then give you the multi-billion dollars patent right? How? He has already signed up the entire right to more. For a fee, of course. Wow, brilliant. I know. <laughs> Very brilliant. Yeah. What if um, Oscar succeeds in convincing Asa to return to him? What happened? Oscar? <laughs> oh, please. Oscar has less than 48 hours to leave. I don't get. Oscar has no terminal disease that I know. <laughs> has he? You. Well. Let's just say that no terminal disease kills faster than an assassin's bullet. Kill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. <laughs> For God's sake, what is it? Mm. Eh? Talk to me, Asa. What happened? Hi. Why are you with your bags? And you are here crying. Yeah, Ask me again, oh. Is it not Oscar? Eh? That boy is a serious wire. In fact, now that rejected fake. Why? Yeah. Mm. My back rejected fake. Why me? Hasa? Why me? What is this? I don't understand. Eh? eh? What do you mean? Hey. Hey. Ah, I'm sure he must be the one. If he comes here looking for me, tell him I'm not around. I am not. If I am coming. Asa? If I am Asa? Asa! Check me. Asa! <laughs> if he's indeed the one, you will come out and greet him, oh. You will come out and greet him. Eh?
Mama. Oscar. Is, is Zasa in? Yes. She's in. What is the problem? I, I don't know. She, she just left the house just like that. Oscar, can you help me call? Oscar! If you know what is good for you, you never from here now. Uh -huh. Thunder will fire you. Thunder will fire you. 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 So what is it? What is it? No, Grandma. Grandma, this boy. You are evil. Get out of here. Grandma, tell what? him to go away. All of you should leave. Let them go. Stop. Come on, leave me alone. Calm down now. I will break somebody's head today. Tell this mother fake to leave this house. Get out of here. We don't know. Come on, hear the victim. Asa, Bia, Bia, Biko, Bia. Please, calm down. Calm down. What happened? Everything happened. Oscar here happened. How? All of them happened. You see these people, all of them are wicked like See them and now. Get out of this. Shut up, shut up. Come on, let me do shut up. Let me do shut up. I hate this. I hate this. Why are you telling me to shut up? Eh? You heard what? Grandpa appeared to me in my dreams to show me the particular plans that will kill Uma Joku forever. Okay. And I love to tell this wicked boy here that I call my husband. Only to see him discussing with his friend Jim. Jim said everything to me. Jim said what? Jim said how all of you conspired to use me. To use me and dump me. Huh? Oscar, don't get any intention of keeping me as his wife. He just wanted to use me hey. and dump me. This boy here is nothing but a now that rejected fake. That is what you are. <laughs> Come on, you know, you want to be in your house. This evil boy here. That was a several one times. Eh? He slept with me, Grandma! Mm. Eh? He, 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 that was what I wanted from the beginning. But you came and, and changed it all. You turned out to be that, that woman that, that, that I love. You turned out to be that woman I want to live for the rest of my life. Please, please. Grandma, I say a time. You are believing me. Asa, Asa. Asa. What he's saying is true. Asa, he's not lying to you. As a matter of fact, with concluded plans for both of you to travel to the United States of America. America. Yeah. So that you can continue with your education there. Oh. And uh, you people are liars. Just turn around and go. Do about turn now and go. Leave here now. Asa. What is unfair? Asa. On God, my father is saying the truth. I love you. I want to be with you. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to lose you. Please. You can keep whatever your grandfather showed you in your dream. You can keep it to yourself. Don't show me. I need you more than I need my research now, please. Jim was only reminding me of what I said in the past, that I'm changing. If you had, if you had waited to hear me speak, you, you will hear the part that I told them that, that I love you, that I don't want to leave you, that I've gotten used to you. Even the part where I told them never to speak of us disrespectfully. I told him all of that, my love. I love you. I love you. Please. 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 Uh, look, you can keep that information to yourself. It's for you to understand that I love you. Not because of that. Please. Uh, I want you back. Come back home. Please. He loves you. Please. We all do. Come back home. Please. Please, my love. I've gotten so used to you. Please. Please. I've grown to love you. I've grown to get used to you. Please, please forgive, forgive me, my love. Please, you're the one I want. You're the one I want in my life. Keep whatever. Don't show it to me. Tell me about it. Hi, Eve. How dare you? 
I am here to arrest you for the murder of Chief Tamuna Edwards. You must be. I am a police detective. Yes, you heard me right, Eve. I have your bedroom and this living room bought with listening devices and secret cameras. Everything you said and did right from the very first day with me has been recorded and that includes how you gave your mother lethal injection. Hello. You are such a devilish liar. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> Am I a liar too? Was it? Yes, it's me. I survived the shooting. The police kept it from everyone else. I gave the instruction before I slipped back into coma. Since then, I've been in America. And Detective Saleh here was activated to investigate the shooting. Yeah. Today is your payment day. Today will be your last day in your adopted parents' house. What? Yes, you heard me very well. You are not a biological daughter of Chief Edward Tamano. My brother has only one biological child. The one you and your mother killed him for. And she is here to take over her father's house and asset. Yes, of course. There you are. With my Oscar. My name will be for that daddy. Yeah, yeah. Oscar. You see, I listened to the voice notes of all you and the plan that was executed against me. And I asked myself, why though? Coming from my best friend? Hey! What? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. There won't be need for that, bro. If there's anyone you need to beg for forgiveness, then it should be your wife, Zion. Because very soon, not even very soon, you are so going in for it, bro. You have made yourself a candidate for prison. Good luck. I pray she forgives you, though. Hmm? Eh, hey, police. Oh, wait, but wait, Police. Take them out of my father's house, oh, sister, because... oh. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Officer, arrest them. Now move it. It's the same thing. But I'm sorry. Eh? Get up, Ish. Get up, Rubo. Ish. Get up! Rubo. Get up. Oh, no, 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 Shut up! Move Don't touch me! I'll see again. Move. Oscar, move it now. Um, Shut up! Please! But she's my sister! Move! move. Eve, don't play games with me! Move! Shut up! 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 So this is what they have been enjoying since. Yes. Hey. 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 Uncle. Hey. Wow. Hey. Is this not a horse? No, no, it's Jaguar. Jaguar. Yes. Living with them here. Yes, it's just decoration. <laughs> hey. Uncle. Uh, no, 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 Chetna. It's all your own. Hey. <laughs> and your father worked very hard for you to enjoy. Hey. Everything is your own. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 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 Separate us. Oh, your honey, oh, your, ah, oh, your sugar. What I'm waiting to do, they don't feel twice separate us. Oh, you're not too much to see them all. 